Hey, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon 3. This is the Pokemon Splatfest Live with Team Scissors. No, I'm Team Water. I've got my swimming gear on here, or martial arts kicks. Look at this little guy. This is the first time we're seeing him. He's crazy. He's got glow sticks popping out of his head. Let's get into it. I don't even want to read all that. <laughs> Whatever that said. Sorry to that person, but I'm not reading that. Okay. Let's jump into it. I already have a conch shell for some reason. Let's use that. Oh, I need to do my first play of the day. <gasps> I special up. Well, there's only a few specials that really benefit from special up, like the wave breaker. So I don't know if I'll use much of that as an ability. A sharp edge shiver fan. Uh, now shiver is getting to me. She's like, oh, you betrayed me. You didn't choose shiver in this. Right, let's see if we can do an open with friends. I'm gonna create a room here. Uh, yeah, this time I am on Team Water with Big Man. Although, the whole situation with the starters, I love Quaxley, but now I'm not so sure. Dr. Octavius getting in here immediately already. Okay, here we go. We got a team as assembled immediately. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason, I don't know, there's been uh, something that maybe has shifted my uh, starter taste. I do like all three of them, but I'm kind of leaning towards maybe Fuecoco or maybe Sprigatito. I don't know. They're all good. But yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon. Um, yeah, others, I've been, I got up really early this morning. If you are uh, watching this live on the Friday that we started, I got really up, up really early to watch the finals of the big Pokemon tournament, Ash or Satoshi was fighting to be world champion against Dunde or Leon. I won't spoil what happened, but that was amazing. It was a really good uh, sort of maybe bookend to the show if they're gonna end it. I'm not sure. There's some rumors. I'm gonna get this going and not give them the time of day with their missiles. Okay, we're going up against Team Grass here to start. I'm a little worried, because yeah, they got a sniper. Okay, I'm gonna use my charge up my crab tech. And then hopefully get whoever is around here. Oh. Oh. Ah, <laughs> I puked around too much. Somebody will do that. Revenge me, I mean. Uh, but yeah, the... The whole, there's a lot of Pokemon stuff going on. We're a week away from Scarlet and Violet coming out. And then on top of that, the uh, the big finals in the show were on. I've been watching, uh, you know, off and on watching the the sub of the Pokemon anime for years. How did they splat me in like one shot? Was it the gal? Yeah. I swear I got hit once there. Jeez, we're doing with friends, so that means everyone else we're fighting against is also with friends, and it can be a bit painful when they're so coordinated like that. Be extra cautious here. I don't have great abilities because I was going for aesthetics with my <laughs> my look. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed most of the, the seasons. I've kind of been watching some of the sub with Danny off and on over the years, because I started with the original season when I was a kid. It came out when I was like 10. Ooh, that wasn't good. Let me use this to try to get up. Come on, around. Can we crab? You can see me coming with my crab. Didn't get anyone with that. <laughs> I hit a lot of people, but I didn't actually get them. I'm worried about that charger that was up here. Oh, almost. Ugh. We're fighting for the turf here, it's just we're not actively getting much. Jeez. Get them! They're getting away! <laughs> I shouldn't chase them too far, because I'm getting into a weird spot. Going around. I'll shred your splash wall. And you're gonna try to go over the side, aren't you? Okay. One last 
push here, hopefully. Uh, we might have pulled back towards the end there. We're doing okay. I was a little worried because they like kind of wiped us out early on, but that looks pretty even. Nice, just barely. Oh, so I mentioned uh, the Team Water is leading, or did I mention? Uh, Team Water is leading in the halftime from the sneak peek. So if you've been playing the early like week lead up to the Splatfest, you've been earning conch shells and those have all gone towards your points for the sneak peek. And uh, I think by only like 0 0.07 points, water is leading over grass. So it's very close. Not much to worry about in terms of uh, that little margin, but it might help water get into the lead. My, my plan is to get it with a team here that hopefully, I obviously love uh, a little duck Quaxley and water types, but I wanted to try to get a team that I thought was going to be popular as well so I could maybe get tricolors this time. I did not get any tricolors in the last Splatfest if you watched that, so. Okay, I'm going to change my gear. Because, yeah, I was wearing my new kick dampeners just to kind of show them, and they look like something you might swim with. I also got the Naughty Boys. So I'm earning my amiibo gear here. We got all this stuff. The Chaos Kicks might be a little more useful with... Well, this has perfect accuracy, so if I switch to my Pro, that'll be more useful. And then let's do Ink Saber Main, maybe. This seems good, right? Yeah. Okay, I need some more chunks so I can get my Splatfest t-shirt with Ninja Squid, because I think that would be good. That's my plan, I need like one more run speed up chunk. But that's, you know, inside Splat Ball there. Alright, thank you for joining Liam. People talking about popcorn. <laughs> uh, oh, Somberlene's on Team Fire, no worries. I'm not going to unfriend anyone just because they're <laughs> not on the uh, the team I'm on. But I appreciate you worrying about the space. This isn't a great weapon for turf laying, but I want to try out a little bit of this with... I heard that, yeah, even like two subs of Intensify Action can do so much for your aim. If you look, my, like, my aim is a lot narrower now and more focused with this thing, especially when jumping. The Splashmatic part of that weapon I was just using is the reason why it's so good. One of the reasons is it has perfect aim when you jump, so you don't have to worry about that. But let's try the pro out. My guilty pleasure. That's not <laughs> the set isn't that great, but I love the crab and I love the accuracy of the pro and the range. So speaking of crabs and Pokemon, Crab Brawler. We have the Cloth is the new crab in the new game, but. Crab Rawler's coming back. That's one of my favorite Pokemon, and they kind of forgot about it. All right, Ashley, are we the wa are you Water Warrior? Okay. Did they show the other team? Okay, <laughs> the Boot Rock and Variety <laughs> Squid Warriors. So, yeah, <laughs> the titles you get when you stick with your teams for a while are interesting. There's a lot of uh, I'm gonna have to deal with, like I said a lot of people who have been playing with their friends more than us and they're gonna be really uh, set up well Ooh, I can hear something the rumble of uh, somebody try to get over here and get this trap oh. Oh. now I got a crap and I survive thank you guys try to get some of this turf going Try to throw that at us, most likely, because we're pretty condensed here. Get him! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, I, I know the angle shooter is not seen as that great of a sub weapon. It doesn't really paint or anything, it doesn't track for as long as the point sensor. But I don't know, I like that little bit of you can just quickly, with very little ink, be like, here, 30 damage. Have some of that. I think it's gonna get buffed most likely in one of these patches, but should be careful about going in too much. I do have good range on some of these weapons. Watch this side. Mm -hmm. 
pushing in. The crab. Kind of holding this little middle part here, but could easily go against us. Oh, there we go. We got splatted. Good job to our team, though, for... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of the nicknames here. All right. Holding down the spillway. I, oh, so I don't have a good burst bomb to show it, but there's a glitch on this map in the middle. I think we're on the right side, but there's like a crack here in the middle on the wall of this little bit in the center that you cannot ink if you're on a certain side. Ah, tried to get out of that, but that Hydra is up there getting us, and he's got Respawn Punisher. Okay, good. Brian is on the side, making sure we have a bunch of that other ink going. Try to help track that crab. Yeah, some of those splats that we suffered there. Messed us up. Ah, I should have gone forward and squid rolled back. They also have a pro. I'm not the only one. They got their revenge on me. Yeah, this is looking pretty orange. They also might be camping, waiting. Yep, yeah, see him there. I don't think we're gonna get enough turf here, especially if they're going over to the side. That Hydra jumped down, he's spinning, he's taunting me with his little spin. Okay, thank you, Christine. They said they they love the videos. Yeah, I figured they, once they got that push on us, they didn't even ink the whole side of their base. And they got us. It's the lover, <laughs> lover team, I guess. Okay. <laughs> they're all dabbing. All right. They backed us out. Yeah, they really pushed us back there. We had a good, like, lockdown on the center, but I think once they pushed in on us, it got a little rough. I probably should be using a, uh, a weapon that has more turfing ability, because this is more of a ranked mode, you know, anarchy battle sort of weapon. So I'm going to switch off again. I just want to try out these shoes. They're cool. The chaos kicks here. Look at those. They got, like, pads on them and stuff. I gotta unlock the rest of the amiibo gear. Let's see. What's a good... Let's mess around with the reflux just for a little bit, because that's fun. And then, uh... Let's go crazy and get some... <laughs> some, uh... Special build-up real fast. Hmm. What do I want with this? I'm not gonna use my sub much. I'm trying to think of a good... A good ability to use on this. Probably just Ink Saber Main. There we go. The other one. Where is it? Where's my other one? Yeah, there. Okay. I'm gonna just do a crazy Tenta Missile and see how we do with that before that. I feel like we're gonna get another nerf to the Reflux because <laughs> a lot of people hate the Tenta Missiles and this thing inks so well. The fastest inking weapon in the West. What team do you think is going to be defending in the tricolor? Asked Jimbles. Probably water. They are the most popular. And they're in the lead. Ashley's in here. We got Myung and Fran Rib. Nice. All right. The strainer. <laughs> Alex wants the brain strainer. Maybe we'll do that next here. I like the different headphones. Because then I feel like, oh, this is what I wear. I'm currently wearing very similar headphones to these noise-canceling ones. So if I'm close, I have to remember to do a wide shot, because that's just better for trying to hit anyone. But if I'm far away, oh, it's loading in, you can tell. Whenever there's that little stutter, it tells you you're getting ready to go. Okay. Oh, Josh, okay, they're in here. Welcome to the team, buddy. Let's see how we do. We got some shiny gleams on people. That's, oh, everyone on their team is the... That's how you tell who is doing well and winning a lot. Let's get this inked up. I got special charge up on my shoes. I got a bigger reticle thanks to my special power up. Okay, let's back up enough to get uh, two of these fine, right? Should at least help a bit. Yeah, this is so much simpler to ink with than some of those other, especially the Pro. Obviously, the Pro is not 
great at inking. Probably could have used Ink Saver Main on this thing. Oh, I'm in a bad way. I remembered the button combo. <laughs> I also pre-squitted. So yeah, if you want some uh, a tip on how to get back to base fast, you want to be in squid form because you super jump faster if you're already in squid form. But uh, open up the map, be in squid form preferably, and then uh, down. And what is that weapon? Is that just the... It looked like a Hydra from where I was standing. Okay, let's get him. Tactic cooler. Um, but yeah, being able to just already be in squid form, preferably if you're fast enough, you don't even need to see the map. Or it will be very brief, and then you'll be like, okay, I'm good. Oh, jeez, the first bombed me. Look. Try to support here by just inking a lot, a lot of turf. Yeah, they're having a pretty good hold on the center. Can't really hit. There we go. I was going to say, I can't really hit the center that well unless I'm, like, right up on it. All right, let's back up. Get as many as we can. Someone's about to respawn, right? Yep. There we go. Let's cheese them, boys. <laughs> Trying to wave break us and hit us with. I think has a lot of HP. And then also hit us with the. Oh. 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 I don't have anyone to lock on to. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I kind of panicked missile there. See if we can get up here and get this going. Come on, everybody, we can do it. I think we pushed right at the end there, and we got him. Good job, Team Water. Chrissy is rooting for fire and water. You love both of them. Oh, they love now or never. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the last minute or uh, thirty seconds, rather, that now or never kicks in, and it's very. Very, uh, driving. Oh, look at them, we're in the goggles! We got some other team water with the goggles. I have those too, I was using the little swimmer ones instead of the scuba ones, but maybe I should put those on. It's nice that there's so much water-themed gear for these little creatures that can't go in water or they die. <laughs> okay, getting our cloud up. Oh. Hmm. Episode feels late, you're rescuing a Tabiko twin. What does that mean? You have another... A cat that looks like t my cat? I want to see a picture. Tweet that to me if you can before Twitter dies. Let's, uh, I'm going to try to keep going with this team. Oh, some of them moved out, but I want to see if we can get a streak going. So you, I think you have to get a streak to actually get the clam shells that you need, the scallops, to get, like, ten times and, yeah... One of the problems I was having last time we were playing Splatfest was I wasn't sticking with my team long enough to actually get those streaks going and get the uh, clamshells that we need to get 10 times, 100 times, 333 times battles. That's all possible. I think I got like one or two clams. We'll see. Ashley stayed. Good. Thank you, Ashley. Can we get another person in here, or are we gonna be stuck with just us two? Look at how his, his head is like, is that how they're supposed to look, or is this because of the Splatfest colors? <laughs> just, he's having like a psychic thought or something. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, you're, okay. Aw. Their neighbor's cat looks like Toppy, and they're outside and it's cold. I already went on another stream, I went on a rant against letting your cats outside. The harm it does to the cats, harm to the wildlife, it's just not good and not worth it if you love your, your cat to just let it go outside and maybe get hurt. So, I won't, that was the condensed version of my soapbox rant, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I hope that Tabby's twin will be okay. You're a good person for trying to help them out. Alright, let's 
Let's get this nice and inked. Got this already. They're spread out enough that I can really get it at least. They got their own reflux. Luckily, won't have much problem covering this back up. It's crazy how some weapons are just have such an easier time with turfing than others. Oh, I see that. Did I get two or did I not pick up the other one? Sloshy machine over there. They got two sloshy machines, so they're gonna have two booyah bombs <laughs> at times. Oh. There we go. Alright. They should be respawning anytime now. There we go. Sometimes I don't know if it's worth holding on to a missile if it's gonna be an issue. Ashley's jumping to me. Come on, Ashley. There we go. And we push up. I'm gonna try. Uh-oh. We got missiles. I'm sorry to everyone over there who, uh... But if this was a mistake to jump up. Oh, I got trapped. Oh, <laughs> I threw a curling bob through the air. Snickers! Where's Milky Way? Three Musketeers is my preferred one. Johnny was there to let us jump to him. Thank you, buddy. Uh, be careful about that booyah bomb. Put it there. It's gonna be a rough one to come back from. Uh, see if I can get two is fine. Best I can do is two. All right, got someone over there, or at least assisted with that. I'll try to move in and help Ashley. Whoop. Nice, good job, Ashley. Send that in. Watch out. Nice. That was a bad time to booyah bomb, my friend. We're going around this way, most likely. Oh, that was them. Couldn't tell if that was, uh... Well, I almost got that. <laughs> They're just sloshing. Uh, sometimes I, I do have a hard time when the mic the ink is mixed up enough to tell who is who. Nice, we got him. All right, good job, team. Pretty much always get number one turf inker if you're the reflex here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Steven's talking about cats. Thank you, Steven, for the support. Um. I'm gonna try again to stick with this team if anyone wants to stick with it. And then we'll switch off of the re reflux. I figured I'd warm up with an easier weapon to play. Because this thing is nice. And then later I'll get into brushes and stuff that'll wear out my finger. <laughs> but we're almost our, on our way to getting uh, the next rank here. Title, they're called. And I should mention, you, even if you get to ruler, the, the highest rank... You only get three more Super Sea Snails if you win. So just try to get to a high rank like Ruler, and then you don't get any more if you go past Ruler, plus, you know, Ruler plus one, plus two. All of that's just gravy. But basically, just get to a high rank and you'll get, I think, 21 Sea Snails, and you get 24 if your team wins. So it's like, whoever wins doesn't matter that much. Saying that as someone who just won the last Splatfest, but... This is only the second one. I had a really good streak going in Splatoon 1. I think I won like almost every one for a while. And then I had really awful luck and didn't win any of them for a bit. So we'll see how we do here with Team Water. I do think they balance the Pokemon types a little bit where they're like, okay, let's give Shiver Grass because that's probably the least popular type. And we'll give Fry Fire because Fire's cool like Fry, but also her name is Fry. But also that might make her a little more popular. That sort of thing. Am my glowing? I'm getting a premonition. The battle will start soon. Okay. 
Oh, if you stick with the team, it won't let people join you even if others drop out. Okay, good to know. This will be the last one that we do. Ashley's still here, at least. I don't know, Johnny and Freebies. I appreciate the info, though, Mikey. Uh-oh. Ashley might lose connection. If we do get dropped out of here, then I will definitely get a open lobby going again. It's not the end of the world if we don't actually see some ten times battles, hundred times battles, all that stuff. That's just kind of like ways to get more points for your team. Maybe you get a little bit better at that condensed shot. Yeah. Otherwise you can just kind of do a... Two good ones will oh, get it. Or if you let it charge all the way... Okay. Hmm. They didn't increase the reticle on this, did they? Like, increase the... Uh, yeah, maybe I'm used to the tri-stringer, but this thing seems to be hitting really well. It is because I'm probably closer. I had a lot more... A lot more of a struggle to actually get a one-shot with this reflux in the past. Okay. How's everyone doing? Yeah, it seems like something's going on weird. Maybe it's for the best. Ah, uh, Brian hasn't won a single one yet. Well, you're on Team Water, so I'll try to give you some of my luck. Yep, there we go. Okay. Not enough players. Weird. Now, the, one of the problems with being on the team that maybe has the most players is it can sometimes be hard to find other teams you'll often fight against your same team. I think that happened last time with, uh, we were, were we with Team Gear? Yeah. I was trying to remember, Rock, Paper, Scissors was the pre-release one, and that didn't have any rewards that we actually got. I forgot about that. All right. D has a level 88 catalog. I'm envious. I want, I'm trying to get my catalog all the way up before we get to the end of the month, because that's going to be the end of Drizzle season, autumn. Um, I don't remember what my catalog is at right now. I think it's like 60-something. I think we can do it. I just got to play. You get 1.2 times catalog experience, from what I've heard, during the Splatfest. We did roll this twice, right? Skinny, thank you. 499 <laughs> Super chat. Usually I don't say the number. I was just reading. Thank you for the super chat. Grass starters all the way. I tend to really like grass starters. This Brigatito is very tempting. So I had a hard time choosing my team. I like all all types of Pokemon, honestly. I just kind of figured, yeah, Water and Big Man. I would support them and hopefully get some tricolors tomorrow. For now, we're just focusing on ranking up. All right, Mikey's here with his junior splat or a mini splat splatling. We got some of the same weapons against us. We're gonna try to watch out for the dreaded tri zuka. Let that do some of my inking for me. Oh, I should have did it at an angle and it would have worked a little better. Thank you again, Skinny. Hit in a weird spot where I don't know if it really got much turf. He's down here. Oh, this thing can kind of play like a slosher a little bit and go over stuff. Oh, there we go. All right, they're respawning, but it's not worth waiting. Oh my gosh, I just barely got out of the way of that. So one thing I didn't realize about the Tacticooler early game when we first, you know, had the game come out was that it reveals your location when you have it going. It's basically putting a tracking thing on you because it shows the uh, little thing to tell you you have the buff. So it's maybe not the best, especially when people are trying to sneak around with Ninja Squid. Nice. Overgot them. Get them or did they escape? Got my missiles here. There we go. They're all respawning. Perfect time to push in a little if we can. Ooh. Ooh, I thought I was gonna have to squid jump, but the suction bomb takes so long that it didn't matter there. Ooh. 
they go. Okay. Move someone over to the edge. I've almost got another missile. Here. Playing a little bit like a backliner and being the spot to super jump to and uh, getting these missiles going is kind of the name of the game for me. Oh, didn't quite get three of them, but that's okay. Go. You jump to me, whoever. Try to keep you safe. An underrated aspect in uh, the game is helping people have turf under their feet. Uh oh. I've almost got. Uh, they're really pushing in on us here at the end. Gotta get some more turf here. We're not gonna do it. Somebody finish them off. Come on. Ah, uh, didn't have enough ink for the curling bomb. Uh, an underrated uh, aspect of a weapon is being able to actually support and put turf under people's feet because sometimes. Ah, oh, we lost by point two. I was so close. If I had thrown my curling bomb at the end, I think we would have had that. Um, because, yeah, a lot of weapons can't really ink for themselves, so it's good to, uh, have that. I'm gonna try not to bump my mic too much. I apologize for that. Sometimes I'm spinning around, shooting arrows everywhere, and it doesn't work out so well for that. Yeah, see, Splatfest bonus, 1.2 times catalog, so this is a good time for me to get my catalog going. Steven, thank you so much. Don't worry, Adam, I'm on Team Grass to keep the channel well diverse. Go teams! That was my second choice. Um, maybe I'll do like one more with this set and then I'll, I'll switch to something else. So I'm not just playing on the back line the whole flat fest. Let's get another thing going. I think I'm happy with my gear. There we go. Yeah, I'm actually kind of... I don't know, I think I underrated the damage on this thing because I was like, oh, it can't one-hit splat. But a lot of weapons can't one-hit splat easily. You have to actually... Uh, like, this, the sloshing machine's a good example. That's a good weapon that has to kind of play a little slower and use its bombs and stuff, and it can only two-hit splat, so... All right. Oh, did we not get... I thought I did with friends. Hmm. I didn't start a room. I thought I did. Oh, sorry about that. We'll get another one here. I thought I did friends, but maybe I did normal. Weekend water warriors is Ashley. <laughs> Ashley rooting against her husband, who is on Team Grass. She's been in these, so I'm not, obviously she's Team Water. I'm not sure some of the other people. That's another good use of the Splatnet app, is being able to see what your buddies are in terms of teams. Okay, get all four. Oh, I missed him. Moved out of the way just in time. There we go. Being tracked though. Should be careful. Oh! <laughs> I went a little too far anyways, and I got Trizuka. I was just trying to drop a curling bomb off of there. Okay, I think I got a room to get in here quickly. Triple link strike. I'm in a really weird spot. Okay. Oh, I thought I, I just barely touched that and I got tracked. An accident. I'm gonna make sure no one's getting around the top. Not the best to go up top when you're being tracked, probably. Almost got ink strike, so I have to stay back. Okay, we're not ink strike. Oh, they got ink strike. Ah, I thought I could <laughs> thread the needle between the two. I at least got my missiles going. Triple ink strike, I'm kind of mixed on. It's a little bit of a uh, weird special, because you can't actually go in the ink when you're using it. So once you use it, you're really hard committing to using it. Stay out of the way of all their tracking. Oh. I see. Uh, this is a 
caster trying to zip around. Okay. Keep getting tracked. Who has the tracking? Is it the, uh, maybe the H3? I wasn't sure which weapon has a tracking thing on it, but. Oh, almost got him there. Ah. I'm having a hard time pushing up. It's because you guys aren't here with me. That's my fault. Look, it's Mickey. It's a hidden Mickey. <laughs> How did that happen? Disney's getting their way in everything. They're making a thing with, with Studio Ghibli, and now they're getting into Splatoon. They're really pushing in here to make our lives annoying. Did that carbon roller die? Oh, it's still around. I really want to get my inks. Uh, there we go. Attention missiles. Go, 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 go. Trying to do that. Get this going. I don't know if we pushed in enough there, but hopefully the Tenta Missiles helped a little bit. That's looking pretty orange with those ink strikes. Ah, again by 0.7. We keep losing by such a small margin. All right. Ah, Octavius had a, a communication error during a 10 times battle. I charge it. Yo, we're hitting Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that, that could not have been on purpose. It was like in the middle of enemy turf. I barely got anybody on that one. That's what I get for playing alone. Okay, that's gonna be the last of my reflux for a bit. So let's do a different weapon. We have not gotten the spillway in a bit, weirdly enough. Uh, Let's do junior, I haven't played junior in a little bit and then Maybe, I like these headphones. Can we use any of the new shoes? What would be good? Uh, I wonder if uh, Intensify Action would be good with the the Junior, because it'll help with all that crazy. Let's see what it looks like. Does it really help with the splatter? Not that much, but I can squid roll easier. Okay. With friends, open. That's what I want, right? There we go. All right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ashley got a 10 times battle win. I should have stuck with her. Well, everyone was saying we couldn't stick together or else no one could join. I should have stuck with you. Oh, we got that communication error. Man, good job though, getting that win for Team Water. All right, we got Brian. Flynn's a master, so he'll do the missiles for us. <laughs> I don't have to worry about missiles. And then Mikey's here with his mini splatling and test failed. A lot of people are, yeah, you know, I'm starting to know what people's main weapons are. Look at that, that extra intensify action helped. I should be constantly throwing out splat bombs with this thing because the junior has a 10% larger ink tank, if you didn't know. In Splatoon 2, that was added in an update, a later update, and it actually made the ink tank look different. It looked more like a, a big water bottle that you would take to kind of make sure you're drinking enough water during the day. Um, I'm a little sad they took that out, because it was kind of fun looking. But maybe they didn't want to, like, differentiate the junior. It still has the 10% larger ink tank, though. So, like he's going crazy with the Splatling. Try to get some of this down here. In a bubble. Oh, I did not mean to go down here. I can actually jump back. Mikey's in the bubble. I could have jumped to the bubble because it has a uh, beacon. That's a problem I want to get better at. Uh, I have a problem with accidentally overdoing it with my oh, brush. Overdoing it with my uh, swimming where I jump in. A little bit too far and fall off ledges and whatnot. See someone up there. They got some long range weapons that we need to be careful of. Like the Explosher and that there. Tri Springer. It's giving us trouble. Whoop. Almost got the bubbler. Whoop. 
thought that was going to be a good spot to use it, but it didn't work out. Tri-Stringer honestly was giving me less trouble when it had its, uh... <laughs> I messed up my sub there. Tri-Stringer was giving me less trouble when it was using its killer whale. Here comes the brush? Or no, I got him. Yeah, the Tri-Stringer, what happened to the Explosher? I have not seen them this whole time. It's really the Tri-Stringer that's given us problems. Somebody's over here. It's the brush! There we go. Okay, where do we want to go with our bubbler? Oh, that's where the Explosher is. I'm gonna try to sneak around and get this guy. Ooh. Let's do a little sharking. Whoop! <laughs> that didn't work out! It's gonna get me if I don't scoot out of the way. Oh, I see the brush. Whoop! We're doing what we can here, folks. I was trying to ink the spot where the arrows were hanging out a little too quick. Ugh! These tri stringers, uh, coming a problem. I don't have the range to actually get them very easily. Let's go ahead and go up here. And we can do this. And I can just bomb all day. Keep them at bay. Come to kill a whale. Last little bits here. I think we got it. That seemed pretty good. This is kind of a rough map for the junior because I can't get up there. So I gotta just throw bombs I can't really hit up on the ledge. Nice! Good job, Bloop Troop. Steven with all the green. <laughs> the green me. I thought he was doing four leaf clovers for luck, but he's just doing all the team grass greenery. I support ya. Unlikely but not impossible. What are you, uh. Oh, Kirby might was saying they might go against us in battle. Could happen. There we go. Leveled up our Chaos Kicks. All the stuff with Chaos makes me wonder, like, what if we had... What if Team Order had won the final Splatfest in Splatoon 2? What would this game look like? It would be crazy. Everything would be different. We would never go to Scorch Gorge. It would be... Some sort of orderly version where everyone has to line up to look at the monuments. Alright, I'm gonna do another one with the Junior, because that was fun. Mm, keep them at bay, says Alex. <laughs> Get it? Because of the water. Alright. Ban that guy. No. <laughs> the puns. Puns are allowed. Don't worry. Ashley's too busy playing to moderate, probably. Here she is. She's got the end zap. Oh! Ashley switched off the the hero shot. Are you trying some new... Look at her goggles. Uh, I forgot I was going to put more swimming gear on. Uh... But yeah, her beloved hero shot, she's been dabbling in the end zap, it seems like. That's a good uh, support weapon, too, like the the junior, because you get the tactic cooler. And uh, what is... I can't remember if it has a suction bomb or what its sub is. I'm, I was a little tempted by the end zap, but I think I like the crab tank better, so the splash matic is kind of my go-to in this one. Charlie's asking if we're thinking of going back to Splatoon 2. Charlie, you're the one who made the that retrospective video, aren't you? Um, I'm thinking sometime here we're going to branch out a little bit, and then Saturday, Splatter Day, will be Splatoon. But I'm thinking after this weekend, Friday streams are going to change to a different game. Um, next Friday is when Pokemon comes out, so I'm thinking Pokemon, but also... Oh, she's... I thought I was going to be safe there, but I think everybody is going around. Ooh, They're really pushing in on us with a bunch of stuff at once. Um, I would like to finish up Pikmin 2, though, at some point. So I'm thinking that's uh, in the future. Where are my buddies? I want to help them with this. Here's the bubbler for you, pals. that there. Maybe move in. Thank you. The tactic cooler. Try to pincer this side. 
Get them out of there. Starting to push in a little more. Watch out, that brush is going to be a problem. Oops, brush behind me. Did they come? Oh no, it's a flingza. I wonder if there's so many missiles going around. Let's get this bubble going to help. Nope. Get out of here. Did they take that guy out? I missed whether we got the one. I see the flings up. Trying to move in on us. Can hardly get anywhere set up with all this. Got my bubbler ready. Someone's up there. Where's somebody who could use the bubbler? Oh, no one's around. Okay, chest failed. Whoever's over here, come here. There we go. Half the team down. Let's try to get them. Oh, the brush is running away. Oh, my bomb didn't get him, but we got him. Okay. They're running in so fast. Ah, I thought I got the flings. A bad time to die because they're left alive in the center and we're all gone. So they're gonna get this turf at the last second. Some of the frustration of Turf Wars for me is like it really doesn't matter until you're at the last bit here. Oh! Threw a bomb at least. The Flingzo was just waiting for us. Sharking, because they were the last ones left. But yeah, those little scraps right at the end, that determines the entire thing, really. Not too bad though. We put up a good fight. I feel like my bubble, my big bubbler was helping quite a bit. Hmm. If you threw grass into the ocean with would the ocean be absorbed? I'm gonna try it soon, says Charge. <laughs> Sound like a squid research lab person or something. We got, it. okay, a couple splats there. FSO, I missed what you said, because someone said you had a neat idea. Put the bubbler over their cooler. <laughs> yeah, would that, I guess that would, it wouldn't destroy the cooler, right? Because they can swim into the bubbler. I don't think you can... Is it kind of like the slamming lid where you can't walk into it? You have to swim into it? I can't remember how it works for sure with the enemy. I don't think it would mess with their tactic cooler other than get in the way. It might get in our way because then we can't fire. But that would be an interesting interaction to try. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe at least one more with the junior and then I'm going to swap because I feel like... I want some range. I want a little more range than what I got. Octavia said, you should do a stream of Scarlet and Violet. Let us join to show our Pokemon to you. Oh, I forgot you can play multiplayer in that. I think you can have four people hang out. That's a good idea. My thinking with, uh, with Pokemon is that I don't think I would record the whole thing necessarily or get through it unless I was doing something like streaming it. So I'm going to try to stream it. Octochu's in here. They also, yeah, lots of splash matics Good weapon, though. Great for turfing. Like I mentioned, it has perfect jump and RNG, so it doesn't really need intensify action to really aim well. The junior has such a haphazard spray that it's a little, kind of like the arrow spray, so I should be, of course, using a lot of bombs. Did I get Ink Saver Sub? On my boots are I'm using the chaos ones. Okay. Probably should have got a little more sub ink saver, but Oh, multiplayer's just kinda hanging out. Alright. Charlie, yeah, I did enjoy the retrospective. That was one of the reasons that I got back into streaming and recording, because it was definitely nice to like, oh I forgot all the stuff I did. <laughs> and it it was a good feeling. Thank you for putting so much work into that. If you didn't watch it, Charlie's got a retrospective about the channel on his channel. So check that out, please. Oh, it's a Team Water fight. We're purple, so I have to remember. They look like fire with the orange. I have to get a good, yeah, I haven't seen Shiver and uh, obviously Big Man doesn't change colors that much. He kind of stays fairly gray. 
but I want to see sh a green shiver. An orange fry is also not that odd. Let's see if we can get... Okay, who's around? Oh, oh nice! Okay, I'm gonna move... Ah! <laughs> I was in the air when I did that. I was gonna move in to help whoever was there, but then the ink back got me. Let's see if we can do this. We'll get spotted. What? What is that? Is it... Okay. Huh. <laughs> A little bit of latency there with Lagoon. I was like, why are they just standing there? They were in there. Uh, is it pasture mode? But they just kind of stood there weirdly. That was odd. I can help. Is that? Anybody up here? Let's see if we can big bubble. We can just get a lot of jumps going. Big bubble's not gonna last that long if somebody's shooting at it like that. There you go. Oh. Good, 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 good. Get off the <laughs> man. Could not get off the side there. The jet squelcher is giving me trouble because yeah. Again, I was like I should get more range, but I did not switch weapons. Oh. Ah. I really thought I got out of the way in time, but. No one's there. I gotta start getting uh, more shoes with stealth super jump because I think that's also a problem. Jet Squelcher is the worst. Ugh. I had a beat on him and it didn't really matter. Hey, let's get off my buddy. Man, this is rough. <laughs> Jeez. They're really outranging us. We have all these close range weapons. Am I gonna just splat? Okay. I was worried that I was gonna get that latency splat. Okay. Got a big bubble. Getting out of the way, weirdly. Uh, yeah, I got so focused on fighting that I didn't get that much turf. Okay, time to switch to a longer range weapon if we're gonna keep getting Scorch Gorch over and over. Because I can't take some of these guys on without splat bombs. Getting them with range. Void's got a four star splash o -matic. Yeah, I don't know if I've. I've got a few weapons with some freshness or stars, but I'm not, uh. Not leveling them that much because I've been switching around weapons a lot. Now, I gotta keep. A, pay attention if I get any run speed up because I'm gonna maybe switch out my Splatfest t shirt for Ninja Squid. It only takes two of each ability, so you need two run speed up, two swim speed up, two ink recovery up, instead of the 15 of each you need normally to get Ninja Squid going. All right, what do we want to use? I want something with a little more range. Oh, it does have, okay, suction bomb. Let's try, hmm, normally I would go with, yeah. Let's try the Dooley Squelchers. And then I want, yeah. So there we go. Sub or uh, special power up. I'm using the Wave Breaker. That's one of the things I mentioned. Is like, uh, it's useful on that. Hmm. I'm thinking this is a good pair of shoes. I like. That's what I thought I was wearing when I had the Chaos Kicks on the the Force reboots. I like the ability mix on there. Okay. Let's do this because then I still have my Splat Bombs. And it's not as much of an abrupt transition to having a different sub, different uh, special. Uh-oh, what's what's Haley doing? Oh no, Steven gave the chat scissors and now everyone's running around. What do you have? There's a, uh... oh no, Haley's got a knife. Jeez. <laughs> I need to make some, uh, some custom emoji here so that you guys aren't playing with the normal ones so much. I'm getting into trouble. 
So the Julie Squelchers, I didn't realize, they're really good, but they don't give you any, like, real increased firepower after you roll. The big cool thing with the roll is that you can kind of slide with it. I'm gonna practice my rolls. All right, we got Brian, so I know we'll have good missiles. Mikey's back in here, test failed. Getting some of the same people, but I think some of it is we only have so many people on our team. And then, yeah, I need to remember to, like, put the wave breaker in a corner or something where people aren't going to be able to destroy it easily, but it can still affect a good area. Yeah, look at that. I think it makes the special power-up might make the range a little longer, or it lasts a little longer. With big red. Okay. Everyone's running around in the chat. You guys. So yeah, I have to remember it's not that important. Unlike some of the other dualies, it's not that important to put your reticle together. I think it does it give you a little more range? I'm trying to remember. After the roll. Because it's you're basically making the dual squelcher from Splatoon 1 again. The face covered blob mob flip flops, gray zap it. I couldn't even read all of it. Oh, they're all end zaps. <laughs> Alright. They're very coordinated. On the one hand, they're gonna have a ton of tactic coolers. On the other, they might not. They might be lacking in some uh, crucial aspects that they don't realize. Well, they realize it. Later, but... eh, I don't know if it really adds that much range to do that. Glad I'm like, okay, all I have to worry about is tactic coolers, honestly. Going up top. Whoever's got the point sensor on our team, is that the uh, rapid blaster or is it the splatling mini? The point sensor is so helpful. I should probably use a weapon with point sensor at some point. None of the ones that have it have really spoken to me that much yet. Here. Oh. There they go. Oh. I got him, but I at what cost? <laughs> the, mod <laughs> the mods are causing all of the bad behavior. As long as you guys are having fun. It's Splatfest. You can do things you're not supposed to do. Go for it. <laughs> I think we're doing okay, all things considered. Oh, let's get up there. Watch out for all these. Try to get these side areas, good. So they have a decent range with their end zaps, but at the same time, they're uh, gonna have a hard time with. Uh, actually splatting us that quick, because the end zap has a very slow time to splat. That. Just trying to poke him out a little bit. It's gotta be behind me, right? Oh, I ran out of ink! Ah! They're gonna get my whoever was jumping to me. Ooh, nice! Test failed. Took out two of them. I'm jumping to you, buddy. Save me! Okay. <laughs> we can do this. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful with using a sub, and then that might cost us this because I didn't take them down, and they're turfing a ton of the center. Um, I used my splat bomb and then I rolled and I ran out of ink basically. Pretty close looking. Nice, good job everybody. Yeah, I think I need to just not use my bombs unless I, I'm trying to poke at people and focus on using my range with those dualies. Look at them spin. <laughs> now someone's got a flamethrower. Uh, Charichu, are you? No, you're on uh, team water. You should have a squirt gun. They're doing some rambunctious stuff in the chat. 
Okay, we're getting up there. Got 68 level catalog. I don't think we're gonna get to our dab tonight. We have 30 levels. I almost said 100. We want to get to 100. Uh, but I want to try that at some point. Or yeah, I'm hoping we can get to 98 to get that before the season's over. How many days? We got like 20 days, less than 20 days left. I gotta do it. Okay, everyone, stretch your hands, get a drink. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. Void is here. Void trademark. I think that's the same Void from before. They're back. And they've got the Trizuka to help us out. Octavius. Alright. Pretty good group here, it looks like. Everyone's entertaining themselves in the chat and having fun <laughs> role-playing. That's good. Yeah, I should be using this more in combat because I can get a lot more ink out of this thing. There we go. Yeah. If I'm not just kind of using my sub weapon. Definitely handy when we're stuck under a ledge or something in Scorch Gorge, but I'm gonna try to hold back. I'm constantly throwing bombs out in this game. <laughs> and sometimes it's like, just rely on your main weapon more. This is the max range of this, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm, I'm dredging. <laughs> Ninja gave it, yeah. I'm drinking water because I'm team water, not because I want to stay alive. Actually, it was drinking coffee. I didn't want to be a fibby boy, I'll tell you. Drinking coffee to power me through. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Great blah, blobber nickname. We have two blah, blobbers to deal with. This is a team water. Friendly fire battle, it looks like. So we'll try our best to at least win for the points, but... It's not gonna matter too much in the end. Who's up there? Try to support them. Ooh. Okay, so the mini splatling has the ultra stamp as well. If they come back here, I'm ready for them. Oop. Okay, good. Jeez. The roll saved me there, I think. I should have put that a little lower. There we go. Or more around the corner, I mean. Everybody up here. Look around. Oh, see the blobs. Is that blah blah blah? Oh, they got me still. Ah, man, their time to splat is crazy. I like already had be a beat on them, then they still got me before I could do anything. Whoever's in spawn is. Trying to clean up for us, Void. Is someone hiding over here? Did they just do a blah blobber? I was actually thinking about using my last golden Sheldon ticket to get the blah blobber because I kind of wanted to try it out. It seems really good for Turf Wars. Ugh, come on! Ugh! Did someone get them? Ah, jeez, they saw me go around. I keep running out of ink with this thing, and I do have Ink Saver Main, right? Oop, I didn't mean to booyah. Where's my guy? I have it, yeah. Hmm. Just having a hard time despite having Ink Saver main on this. Ah, I could not back up in time from that. And they're protected more because they fixed that. We got like Callie and Marie colors here, I'm noticing. A lot of the ink combos feel like some throwbacks to Tune 1. Let's get this going. Here. We played the. Which one else has them, right? Yeah. We played the Reflux. I feel like playing the Blob Lobber is a good way to just cover all of our bases with annoying weapons. Let's get that. Does the Blob Lobber have the Zip Caster? That was surprising. Ugh. That. Throw that around. 
watch my butt. I just have to remember too that you get special char or your ink tank back when you use your special. All right. Just everyone's sharing food. <laughs> We're just going through all the emojis. We both baked enough cookies for the whole chat. Thank you, Alex. All right, good job, everybody. I definitely used all the ink as the thing is telling me. <laughs> Number one ink consumer. Yeah, the blah. Oh no, blah blubber has ink storm. I knew that, but I for some reason I thought they were a zip caster when they dropped down. I missed. Let's see here. What was the one with the zip caster? Oh no, the spider. <laughs> how do I? I can't remember how we look at our stats here. I gotta stop anyways. There we go. Okay. There were two blah blah blurs and then the uh, carbon roller has zip caster then, right? I thought, yeah, it does. Okay, it says right there. All right, new group. I'm gonna try the dualies a little longer. I don't have that many good turfing weapons because a lot of what I've been getting has been for Anarchy Battle series for videos and then I'll play them and then yeah, I'm like, okay, I need to maybe have more stuff for Turf Wars. Did I accidentally say ready too quick? All right, good. We got Charichu. Everybody's ready. Oh, there is like a little window there to cancel that I don't, I think is one of those things they added in the patch recently. I mean, I do wonder if the reti double reticle is just better on this. Basically, don't roll and use up your ink tank unless you really need to. For having two guns, the time to splat on this thing is not as good as I would want it to be. I feel like, because it has such a wide reticle. And you get those rolls, that's the counter to it. It's like, okay, you get to roll around, so your gun is not that great. What is going on? Kirby's got a buffet going. I would expect no more from, uh, from no less from the pink buff ball. <laughs> I like rolling off ledges in game. Test failed eight before the stream. Oh, look, the moon. Is it full? That's what it was full recently. I had, I made a big, uh, Bulldog, uh, bakumyong, like a fried Korean spicy chicken fried noodles dish. So I'm pretty full and powered up. Got those carbs. Oh, going against some big old rollers and the Hydra. Well, we finally got Urchin Underpass again, and this is a real battle. Okay. That'll happen where I'm like, okay, focus, guys. We gotta actually win this. This is for the points. For the shells. Put this here in the center. Try to not get hit by the Trizuka. The range is not as good as I would want it to be. Oh, nope. That's Hydra's up there. I'm not going to be able to outrange them. My ink is. <laughs> that wasn't worth waiting and trying to get passive ink recovery. Because you get ink recovered from just standing. Whoop. They're unrelenting here. I do wonder how many people that play in teams are, uh... But that wasn't worth it. Are actually communicating with each other and, like, on Discord calls and stuff. Sometimes I assume that's what's going on when they're so coordinated, but maybe they just play together a lot and they're used to it. There we go. Whatever that is, is going away. Dynamo. They got out of there. Okay. Let's get this thing going. Try to cover some of this corner when we're over here. I really just don't want to get near that one ledge, because that's where the Hydra is a lot of the time. Yep, there it is. Try to get 
some bombs hassle in it. Nice, I got somebody. They got a Japanese name, but they're playing on the American Splatfest. Ah, but I got out of the way. I gotta remember to squid roll backwards more. Mm. Doing okay, except we're getting targeted. Some missiles. Yeah, they're still pushing in on us like crazy. Get them. Ugh, this thing takes so many shots landed to actually splat. I think I'm a little disillusioned with these squelchers now. I'll hit them like three or four times and it doesn't matter. And because of the range, I think they can get out of the way a lot of the time. Too quick. Booyah! They booyahed right at the end to get a bunch of turf, I'm sure. How are we doing? I think someone was pushing in. That's looking more green to me, though. Yeah, not by much. We were doing pretty well. I gotta put my uh, wave breakers a little closer. Maybe one more with the dually squelcher, and then I'm ready for something else. Chad is extra rowdy. The festival energy of the Splatfest has really turned them loose. <laughs> okay. Oh, before we jump into another one, let me see if I have any more shells. We're slowly getting up in rank. Tonight's going to be about ranking up, getting that set, and then tomorrow is turf, or uh, tricolor turf wars, so. Yeah, there we go. We got another one of these. Ooh, a nice little banner. Looks like a concrete wall or something, but um, I'm not using my bombs as much as I probably, well, I do use them a lot, but maybe I would be better off with some Ink Saber main more. Let's try that. Then I can fire for longer. Yeah, this leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of even the range that it gives me. Oh, you know what? Might be better than Ink Saber Main is that. Let's see if I can put the intensify action on it. Does this help with it? it might help with some of the time to splat because it kind of focuses fire a little more. I think that works for this. Maybe it's in my head, but it looks better to me. Okay. They're, you're making me hungry with fries there. Kirby's Dream Buffet. <laughs> I, I forgot about that game. I forgot that even came out. I, a lot of people were playing that for just a, a little brief window, it seemed like. But it looked fun. That's the one where you're racing and eating strawberries and stuff. Oh, we got Julia in here with her tri-slosher. Okay. I'm ready to go. I almost thought I backed out of that on accident. All right. It's Alex's birthday weekend. Happy birthday weekend, Alex. Trying to see when you said your actual... Oh, okay. They left it vague. It's sometime this weekend. <laughs> Hopefully, you enjoy the Splatfest during your birthday weekend. Yeah, I can't tell if it's in my head, but I do feel like the, the shot fall off, like the spread is better now that I put these chaos kicks on. The names are so good for the gear. Naughty Boys for the school punk shoes are, uh, are pretty stellar. Gotta hand it to the localization team at Nintendo of America. Okay. Oh, they're gonna make their wish. Oh, the candles. The candles have come out not for the King Salmonid, but for Alex. Alex is another stream mainstay. I think it, yep, I was gonna say. Got a little bit of a hitch there, that meant. We're starting. Okay, let's go. Best of luck to all teams, says Steven. And we're having fun, we're all winners. <laughs> okay. Tortellini? I'm a little worried, they got the Nautilus. That's another one that I wanna, and maybe after this I'll get the Blob Lover. Uh, but the Nautilus is another one that I'm like, I'm kinda interested in those other weird splatlings. Should be trying to get into the middle quicker. 
over here, maybe? Oh. Here we go. Oh, I see the Nautilus. Oh, I heard him. They're going around. There we go. The, I heard the sound. That actually gave them away, so the Nautilus can hold a charge when you swim, just like a charger. That's part of why it's named the Nautilus. But, uh... I just heard it do its little bloop. Let's see. Try not to get splatted in the meantime. There we go. That's very handy. Get him. Oh. Jeez. I wanted to see which side had the weird spot one of these times where you can't ink. It's with, I think it's with burst bombs. I don't know if it is like every weapon it doesn't work with, but someone's up there. Oop, I missed. There we go. Yeah, this is much better with a little intensify action. Except, I, uh, have no ink. Breaker. Toss mine in the mix. Nice. Okay. Right when I'm getting ready to switch off this weapon, we're starting to do better with it. I do think just switching my gear did a lot of did a lot for me. I see if whoever's coming over. Oh, do we have someone behind us? Yep, we do. It's a brush. Oh, my ink! <laughs> I just couldn't get enough ink there. Okay, good. Somebody was supporting me. I'm going. Why did I stay this way? I think I was just trying to jump. Hey, hey, hey. Who are ya? <laughs> couldn't get him at... Oh, did we get him? They, they might have died mid-jump there. Nice. Cordellini, we got him! Nice, wipe out! Everybody go in! We can do this. Try to wave break at the last second here to really mess with him. Oh! <laughs> Hopefully that was enough. Yeah, maybe a little more with the Dooley Squelchers. We're doing better now. I felt like I need less, uh... There's less variance on how many shots I need to get when they're more accurate. I got overall splatter, too! Look at Octavius and their brain strainer. Everyone's looking cool. I don't know if you guys, yeah, if you're up on some of the Splatoon controversy going on with gear, but the fake contacts, if you've played other Splatoon games, you've probably seen the fake contacts before. It basically just makes it look like you're not wearing any headgear at all. But those were, they're in the game, they're in the data. Oh, I need to use, get some more food. And they're used for the amiibo currently. They're actually a season three. I think they're gonna be in the spring is when they come out in one of the catalogs. So the problem is that someone managed to get them and then it was almost like it just spread sort of virally where you could order them off of other people who had them and people didn't realize or did realize but figured it was fine to order them from people not realizing they were hacked into the game. So then uh, the Splatoon account did put out a, a thing where they're saying, hey, we're gonna deal with that, take away the, the fake contacts and ban everyone. No, they, anyone who has them, you're just gonna lose them, but you're not gonna get in trouble or anything. Cause I think it's like, how could they punish anyone without knowing you know, if they knew or not? It's, it's not worth it. So anyways, oh, Gilmore's in here. So yeah, the... Uh, the fake contacts are gone for now, but we'll see them in the spring, it seems like. There's a couple different pieces of gear that are in the game already because they're old gear from like Splatoon 1 and 2, and they're just saving them for other seasons so you can earn them. Like, I think some of the clothes that the main characters in Splatoon 2 wear and stuff like that. 
But anyways, I used to use the fake contacts a lot because the special charge up, and I just kind of liked sometimes not having a hat in Splatoon 1. Special charge up I'm not as big on in this game because it only, like, decreases the turf you need to ink to get your special by, like, five points or something each want sub. or Like, it's not that big of a jump. Or even less than that, I think. It's like, yeah. All right, I gotta get better with the wave breaker. <laughs> Cat sent me a family dinner while I was uh, going on a diatribe about the, the inner workings of Splatoon. Okay. Are we getting... Oh, back to the... I think we're not that far from a map change already. We're gonna get one in, like, less than an hour. Look at all the brushes! <laughs> People try to do these themed teams, I think, because if you stick together and you get this going, you actually get these the titles where it looks cool. But yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I play a lot of brush, so it's like I know the weaknesses of it, obviously. It's very, very quick, but can't always uh, reach anyone. Go ahead and do this, throw that down there. Are they coordinating all of their... There we go. It seemed like they were coordinating their killer whales. I don't know if they were or not. Okay. Supporting a lot of these, but not quite getting all the splats. As long as somebody gets them, that's all that matters. Here comes a brush in the center. They're trying to get over into our turf. <laughs> See another one. They got their bombs too, so we have to really look out for all the splat bombs flying everywhere. Almost got mine. Did someone? Okay, someone dealt with the brush that got behind us. Where this here? There we go. That's what I want to do. Just kind of abuse my range on these guys. Oh, threw that in a bad spot. They're hiding in a corner. Good, good, good. Yeah, they're having a little bit of a tough time against us when we have range. And we're able to. Yeah. Even the, the weapons we have that are, some of them are kind of short range, are doing pretty well against the brushes here. Nice. Not nice that my teammate died, but nice that uh, we managed to get him there. There we go. <laughs> nice when you know easily what everyone's weapons are and how short range they are, and I'm playing a long range weapon on top of it. <laughs> I feel a little bad with uh, how easy it is to just deny them getting through the middle. But it's interesting to, uh, they can get back to the, the middle so quick though because of their ink. Look. That was close. Ah, I've marked him though with the wave breaker. Yeah, this is <laughs> not looking great for these ink brushes, but they probably had fun. That's what matters. Yeah, it's very fun. It's fun to coordinate like that, but at the same time, you can really see the weaknesses of having four of the same. They did pretty well with ink, all things considering. But I got a lot of them. Oh yeah, this is water versus water, anyways. So, didn't count towards the victory main percent, but it's a uh, <laughs> team of Bob Rosses, so stupid. But we did get the uh, the points towards our title, so. And the catalog, that's what I'm mostly, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I still have a lot of Super Sea Snails, I'm not so worried about that. I want to get my catalog leveled in time. All right. Everyone's having fun in the chat. I like seeing that. Now they're getting into animal. They've, they've exhausted all the food. Now everyone's <laughs> using animal emojis. Is there? I don't know if there's a heron emoji, because I'm like, I could definitely make a little 
guy as a channel icon. I've been thinking of the different ones to to make. Yeah, I think I at first I, I might have like overvalued intensify action and then I was like, eh, I don't really squid surge that much. Squid rolling I've gotten into doing a lot more. But just having a, a faster squid surge makes it more usable, but really it's the the benefit of helping with all your shots actually aiming better. This weapon's kind of hard to jump with because you jump and then you want to roll immediately if you accidentally tap jump. But okay. Anyways, I'm uh, that's what I was gonna say though. I'm I'm happy having this in extra intensify action on my new shoes. I should be keeping track of victories, because when we get to 10 and 20, that's how many you need to unlock the amiibo gear. So you get one for free when you scan it, then 10 wins, you get another piece, and 20 wins, you get another piece, so... Okay. Now they're getting... <laughs> they're having drinks. I need to... yeah, it's like, maybe I should use one of my in-game drinks to get me that run speed up that I need. I just need one chunk. Mm. Okay, who do we got against us? Lots of short range, but we're gonna have to deal with the Tenta missiles. I keep going the same side, but I guess the consistency helps people know where I'm gonna be turfing here. <laughs> this thing's like not the best at getting all the turf down that it needs, but it's not exactly bad at it. And throw that in immediately. Don't worry, that's going over. Here we go. Wave Breaker helping out. Coming in clutch. Tracking people. Get that good. Tactic Cooler. Thank you, Ashley. It is time for drinks. <laughs> bomb getting in our way. Try to get up here. Someone around. I know someone's in a range to actually get a bomb up there, because that just happened. Did I protect the crab tank? Probably. They're gonna be going around this side. Here they come. Get that going. Nice, nice. Wavebreaker is just also very handy for supporting me with my splats. There we go. Yeah, 45 damage if they don't... People just don't typically actually jump over it in time. And having an extra 45 damage from that is extremely helpful. No jumping at me. <laughs> Just barely clipped him. There we go. Wipe out. Let's go. Oh, this is the time we could actually move into their turf across this bridge here. I'm feeling industrious. Maybe not the best idea. Just because we you have a wipeout doesn't mean everyone's actually dead. They're just probably respawning. Good job, team. We're really keeping them at bay. Someone's over there with a crab, <laughs> Octavius. They're really trying to walk across the center here. They really want to do that. I think getting into the other person's base is like, it's a good tactic in Turf Wars because you can get a bunch of Turf without anyone actually noticing, but at the same time, it's not the smartest to just kind of walk exposed like that. I'm a little worried about that reef Lux. Got enough for my. Go. Bomb to finish. <laughs> got one of those witches with the bean hats. Uh, okay. I think we get. Look at that curling bomb. That was a really clutch last thing to use because it went so far. That goes pretty far, honestly. Curling bomb, very uh, situational special, but when you're throwing it out at the end of Turf Wars. Can get you a lot of ink. Good job, team. 
<laughs> Kirby's like, Adam, spawn camping? I didn't actually get up there to spawn camp. I started walking over, but was like, nah. And you get ink armor when you respawn, so it's, it's a lot harder to spawn camp in this game. Nice. Our catalog leveled up. And we're a champion, so we're on our way to the max rank. Um, I might keep going with these squelchers until I lose. Because I'm having a good time now that I've kind of narrowed in on it. What do we got? More drinks. Okay. Get another one going. And then, yeah, once I kind of hit a point where I'm like, all right. Let's blob blob. That's my goal. Look at all that pizza. How many slices did you get? We're a water champion now. This is a good time to get to know Brian and Octavius and <laughs> the handful of people on my friends list who are team water. Brian, oh, you switched off your uh, targeting computer. No, you switched off your <laughs> Flingza. Is that the, that's the L3, right? That's the close range one, and the H3 is the long range one. I think I can tell the difference now, because one has a shorter nozzle, right? I know the, the L, the, no, the H3 is the one people like a little better, right? Okay. I haven't dabbled in the nozzle nose as much in this game. I played them a bit in the first one, but I think I just, like, failed to ever really understand the difference, but I'd like, I want to learn all this stuff now when I'm honing in on Splatoon 3 so much. This is the ideal spot for this thing, I think. Then it can hit people over stuff, and you can't knock it out that easy. It's got a decent amount of HP, too, on top of it. That's crazy that it, if you get hit with it twice, it does three-fourths of your life. Okay. Mm -mm. Void got water ruler. They've been playing since the beginning. I was gonna try to start when the Splatfest started, but I ended up, yeah, I had a lot of stuff to do. Feeding the kitties, making dinner. Danny came home and I was like, well, I should make her dinner too, because I, whenever I make my stir fry noodles, I get a lot of uh, ingredients together easily. And then whenever Danny's ready for hers, I'm like, okay, I can stir fry yours really fast. So. A lot of stuff I was like, yeah, I'd like to get started earlier and get better at that, but at the same time, some other things have priority. And we're going to be playing tomorrow anyways, too, is my goal. That was three. I do like that I can count the amount of, uh, the amount of shots on the Trizuka. I'm a little worried. In a bad spot here. Oh, they're going up. Ink going, going up again. Ugh, man, <laughs> Poppy Lou was giving me a run around there. Uh, I think I'm safe to jump to test. Uh, I don't know, that was inky. That was inky. Ah, I should have rolled instead of doing a bomb. Drop roller is like, especially if you play a. Dooley, it always seems a little like, is this worth it? So you can kind of do a roll out of here, yeah. Really gotta get that stealth super jump. Or I'm gonna struggle. In the long run. That type of stuff. Ugh, I thought I had him. But they sloshed me. Even the tri slosher, they were able to slosh up over that easily enough. Let's get some of this. Hopefully get our wave breaker. Ah, uh, they're really pushing in on our spawn here. It's the opposite of the last one. That Flingza has got some range to it. And we got missiles. What's everyone's feeling on Tenta missiles? I kind of am like, I, I'm glad that we didn't get ink armor back. But I'm kind of like, I wish they got rid of tent missiles, too. Mm. Get out of here. That tri-slosher. But yeah, tent missiles are just such a... They just make the game kind of like, okay, move out of the way. They waste people's time as they ink stuff. They just don't seem that... 
fun for the health of the game. I ink that what they got there. Here comes that tri slosher. Nice, 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 nice. Ugh. This is pretty close. Let's see what people think about the Tenta Missiles. Team Grass making a comeback, so skinny. All right, that was a water on water battle, but good job, everybody. I'm glad I got that little bit at home base because that might have been the difference at the end. We got a streak going with these squelchers. I'm gonna keep at it a little bit longer. Swag Blue says, it's only a big problem when it's the reflux is grinding for specials. They have multiple Tenta Missile users. I do think, yeah, I'm just like, the other specials just seem a little more interesting to me. It, I, I did notice in, like, some tournaments early on, like the one Japanese tournament, the, there was just, like, someone staying back at spawn the whole time and doing, like, grinding their missiles, because, yeah. In competitive Splatoon, in other countries, they don't really play Turf Wars, but in Japan, I think they still do. And official Nintendo tournaments, they play it, but... So yeah, it's a little... A little bit of a different beast. I think a lot of people who are really into competitive Splatoon don't touch Turf War until Splatfest, and then a lot of people are like... You get a little bit of shock when you're like, oh man, there's some crazy players in this. <laughs> when you get into these matches. That was like a hot-button issue with some of the other Splatfests. But yeah, definitely, if I had to pick one special to get rid of from Splatoon 2, I'm glad that we got rid of Ink Armor, because that was another one that it being able to give everybody in the team armor and you couldn't, yeah, they could just kind of brute force through a lot of stuff. It made blasters really difficult to use and not that fun for people. Everyone's hiding when they want the Wave Breaker. Let's do a Wave Breaker party. Everyone jump when it lands and we'll see the difference. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> All right. Brian loves his Tenta missiles, but not playing against it. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> the worst thing is when you're clustered up, because I think that's one of the, the I guess, the, the benefits of it is it detracts people from playing too close together and really form, you know, in a formation. Because I hate when I'm, two people are running away and like someone dies from the trail of other you know, missiles that is someone else's thing. I feel bad when that happens. Okay, Team Grass, let's do this. Take him down. I'm gonna go left side this time. I tend to go right with a lot of this stuff. Let me get this upper area inked well. So someone's already moved over here. I thought I saw them. Blob lobbing over my thing. can't believe that. Or is it an ex It was an explosion. Jeez. Is that the blob lover that just <laughs> zipped in? That was crazy looking. Nice. Took out the Trizuka. Trying to get a bunch of this turf while they're distracted. Splosher's moving really fast. Do they have like some crazy swim speed up or something? Cause... Ah! Thought I could get around, but the Splosher was supporting them. I was pushed up too much. I was like, I gotta get my special and then get it going. But as soon as I got it, I got into a fight. 2v1 that was not worth it. Back and forth. That wasn't someone, right? Okay. Oh, I thought I had them. <laughs> Do this. Watch out for the Explosher. Yeah, Blob Blubber and Explosher on the enemy team is uh, a lot to deal with. This is a good map for those, because hitting up over stuff is uh, pretty useful. Yeah, especially 
actually up there. Getting over the edges and also being on the one edge that you can hit over. the old wave breaker. Which is actually fairly new. Should not have gone in front of the blah blobber there. That's like the most dangerous spot to be in. I feel like every time we're taking them down, they're respawning so quick. Oh. Ah, they got me. Come on. Is this worth jumping into? I'm gonna try it. This is pretty risky. Get him! Okay. I don't know if that splat was worth it. I could have just gone for turf at the end there, but we'll see. Mmm, that's looking pretty green. That might have been it. Yep, jeez. I thought we had that, but they... I think dying right at the end there was the worst thing I could do. Okay, we'll switch up weapons here. That sun-dried mammal on the end <laughs> is uh, inspiring me to pick up the blah blobber, I think. All right. Cat Rosalina, they want me to join them. I don't know, do I have you added? Let me see. I'll try to join you if I do. All right. Let's get our points. Getting some good abilities on the Chaos Kicks already. I didn't think I was gonna use those necessarily, but I do like the ability on them. And they're cool looking. I'm excited for the uh, the boss floss and the like delinquent stuff. That one gear. I'm not sure how many victories we're at, but I should be uh, getting there slowly but surely. Okay. Well, while we're listening to Sheldon, I'm gonna get a drink. All I got was the goo tuber. Okay. Funny timing for that. Oh, I already have the blah blah bro. I don't need to actually waste my gold ticket. We're not that far from getting the last one, so maybe I'll hold on to my one gold ticket just to have it. In case a crazy chocolatier wants me to go to his chocolate factory. There we go. Okay, I'm glad I didn't have to use that. I kind of wanted to have it as a memento. Let's try this out. I have not used it. Really? I think I did briefly in Salmon Run, because I think I got it on a random sort of pull from uh, from the rotation that had all the different weapons. Big man, I love you! Oh no, that's fr uh, it's Shiver. Look at that, those are the dragon heads that were all stacked, and then... Oh no, there's one head, and then they all form together later. Shiver, come back! Shiver in green. Who's coming up next? It's Big Man, there he is! Look at him! He's wiggling! Big Man, we love you! Tinted blue, that looks good, because with the gray it goes well. He's so shiny! Look at his little sen center segment. He's wiggling! Then we have to see Fry, and then we can actually go back into battle. said, why is there a knock at my door? Making me think that I got a knock at mine. Look at her. She's cute. Her red kind of orange is a little pinky looking. And she's got her uh, mango chutney on there balancing. She's not dancing. I guess it's not her turn. <laughs> she, okay, there we go. She's getting hyped up now. Cry. She's so cool. She's got the tail end. Okay. There she goes. Who's driving those things? jellyfish or something? Or they're just doing it with their pure Splatfest power. Okay, Rosetta. I'm gonna try to join you. Whoa. Maybe I should change my stuff too, because I think I'm gonna need more Ink Saver main on this thing. This thing's pretty ink hungry. Is this a slow, heavy weapon? Oh, it doesn't seem that bad. I know the Explosher is. Yeah, let's try this. I gotta get used to uh, doing some of these little flicks and stuff. I don't think that is that important with this slosher. Okay. 
with friends. Rosetta, I see ya. Let's do it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Squeezer with the bubbler. Oh, okay. I thought they were talking about the blob. Yeah. Okay. We got two end zaps. I'm gonna have plenty of tactic coolers. Squeezer I do like, I just want to, I need to get better at that. That's one of those more complicated weapons because you have multiple modes of firing. You have to remember with this, you can shoot it at the walls and you get like a nice spread of ink and a bounce. Yeah, I hit it at the wall and it hit that target. All right, how many flicks do I get? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, 16, that's pretty good. I thought this was like a ink guzzling weapon, but maybe because I put so much ink saver main on it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to like maybe try to go around ledges, use my ink storm. I don't think I have a weapon with ink storm I've really tried in this one, but I, I used a umbrella quite a bit in the first in the second game that had ink storm. I think it was like the normal splat umbrella. All right. Let's see how this is all people that I don't know because they're friends of Rosetta. Oh, we got a three blah blah. Okay, everyone's blah blah and and we're against one too. All right. Let's try to get used to this weird weapon. I'm gonna put a sprinkler here and just go. Sprinkler is definitely seen as one of the worst sub weapons because. It helps you get some ink, but not that much. Ashley, thank you so much for the super chat. Here I am spamming to join, and you're just swooning over big man. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ooh, somebody's doing their... Aero, or, I keep wanting to say arrow spray. That's the weapon that I see it on at the time. Reef slider. Yeah, look at all these. Uh, that was from my ink storm, but I was going to say, we're getting splats just from not actually doing that much. Let's blob down there. Angling them all over the place is good. You get so much different stuff. It feels like you, you can't really... Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to go down over the edge because it showed it going down or else I would have got out of the way more. Um, you can't always get like perfect aim on this thing. Let's do that. You got to kind of worry about just spraying and praying a little bit with it. Still got someone over here. Try that. Oh no. I hate when I swim too fast. Get that going. Whoop. They got their own blob blobber that is more experienced than me. I'm gonna try my best to. Not let it get to me. Almost got him. Bounce him off the side. There we go. Throw a sprinkler in there for him. <laughs> oh, geez. Sprinklers, another problem with it is they don't really last that long. They only shoot at like high ink level for like a handful of seconds and then, yeah, you need sub power up to actually have them ink that much past that. Oh, shouldn't have backed up so much. There we go. Ooh, I heard that reef slider. Someone might have stopped it in time though. Bubbling. She's still around. Oh, they're getting in. Spawn camping. Oh. Ah, he's still alive. Help! Ah, everyone moved into spawn, and they're taking the center. Bromite sprinkler. Nah, I didn't have any time there. Yeah, I think we lost because they. Tried to push in instead of taking the center. Oh, we got a little bit at the end. Nice, just barely. Good job, Rosetta and friends. We did it. Let's see if we can do another one here with you guys. They're all dabbing except for me. I'm spinning my bedpan around. <laughs> it, I know that's like, uh, is it for like 
washing like babies or something like it looks like a little it looks like a urinal honestly <laughs> but i know it's probably not supposed to be like it's a small tub with handles <laughs> good job lobbing those blobs says ashley thank you okay not what i wanted on those shoes but i'll take it special saver okay kailani's got a game I'm gonna try to stay with Rosetta one more time, since they were asking so nicely in the chat. And then Kailani will join them. These actually don't travel as far as I thought. They, they really shrink pretty quickly. There's like an effective range where you gotta hit all of them, actually. It's flat. Fun weapon, though. It's a really unorthodox slosher. Oh, it falls through grates. Hmm, that makes sense, because obviously ink is going to fall through the grate, but I don't have my intensify action anymore. How's everyone doing? Hanging in there? Oh, there's Beat. Thank you. I appreciate it. Beat, they complimented my uh, performance. Yeah, I'm not that used to this weapon, but I kind of understand it in theory. And then, yeah, after this, Kailani... I will try to jump in with you. Play with as many of Team Water buddies as they can. That's my goal here now. <laughs> Who do we got? Oh, they got a charger. We keep getting... Uh, I, I do like Scorch Gorge better than the uh, Undertow Spillway, but uh, at the same time, I want to get some map variety. We're pretty close to the rotation changing. We have maybe have like one more after this. That's one thing you gotta give to Turf Wars is these matches are really quick because they're always only three at max. Ooh, what is that? Ugh! Crap. Also, the blaster. Luna hit me over the edge. Now, I'm a little worried about this team. They seem to know what they're doing pretty well. <laughs> Most people at this point in the game are pretty versed enough. But I'm a little worried because they have like a really well uh, balanced team. I do get my special cra crazy quick with this thing. Maybe the special saver that I was complaining about is helping as well. The ink coverage is so uneven with the blob lover too, because it's like, okay, you got the sprinkler, you got the blobs, and the ink storm, which is like, okay, everything is uneven ink coverage. It kind of makes it hard to know. Whoop. Ah, tried to get out of there, but couldn't. Um, kind of makes it hard to know how much turf you're actually getting. The sprinkler, yeah, the, the bad part about having the sprinkler is I don't have like a burst bomb or anything that would help me get out of a bad situation quicker. like their charger, and I don't have anything to deal with them, really. I just gotta hope that someone else has something that can hit at that range a little better. Kinda stuck back here. We can have some other long-range weapons, I'm just, yeah, a bad spot to do much about them. There we go down there, wherever they are. I'm gonna get chased up here. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> this team definitely seems better coordinated. They're getting, getting me as soon as I take a position a lot of the time. Uh. Ugh, I thought I had him. I hit, I heard like pop, 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 but it wasn't enough damage, I guess, to take him out. Whoever that was, enemy blob lobber. Look at that. That was like the messiest turf coverage. All right. Yeah, that was a rough one. Their charger was keeping us from really pushing in, or at least keeping me out of the center. Yeah, one more. Okay, Kailani, I'm going to try to 
try to get a match with you here going, and then the, the rotation's gonna change any minute now. I'm not sure, I'm trying to remember, I think we're getting, uh, I don't remember, and I don't have time to check. We gotta jump in. Here we go. Got a good amount of clout there. <laughs> All right, Kailani, let me find you. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, someone's got 600,000. That's crazy. I use, I spend my gold on gear too often. We're gonna get a ton of new gear here in a couple weeks, so I shouldn't be worried too much about it, but I think also I wanna get the amiibo gear leveled up and looking good. Might have to use a sea snail on those to get them all the way up, if I remember right. They're missing one slot. No, this isn't, if you really kind of like time it consistently like that, it does cover a decent amount, but this isn't as, yeah, not necessarily as uh, good at doing a lot of even turf inking. I do like the ink storm to hassle people. Okay. Should also be uh, blob blobbing and walking backwards so that someone has to get through all my blobs to actually get to me. And using trick shots like I did with the angle shooter. Octavius is almost, yeah, they're getting on the way to being a ruler. I got a little bit to go. Hmm. Octavius never got the robot gear. I think that is the Splatoon 2 Squid Amiibo, if I remember right. If you want the Iron Man one, there's like a Predator one for Splatoon 1. All right, we got Hydra. I'm getting my wish of going to Undertale. Undertale. <laughs> there's Papyrus. There's Sans. I should be up on the one spot. Oh, I kind of hit him there. Not that great. What did it? Uh, the Clash Blaster snuck up on me. Okay. There's a lot of turf back here to get. I'm gonna try to throw a sprinkler in and hope for the best with that. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, can I shoot my, can I lob my blobs well enough over there? I'm, gonna get, I'm in the exact same position I was. But luckily, the Clash Blaster isn't close enough to me. I want to get that Hydra. Eh, that's bad. That, ooh, I almost went into their Fuya Bomb. I gotta throw these blobs at a nice arc, or else I'm kind of not getting there. We go. What I can out of them. Whoop. Sprinkler can kind of lay down a little bit of ink to get you out of trouble, but it's not great at that. Is that the Hydra? It moved in. There we go. Ink going enough to get this Hydra out of here. Someone sneak around? I saw someone behind me. Sometimes I get so paranoid about someone sneaking up on me. I'm gonna lob blobs. Cover me. <laughs> Hydra moved in while I was trying to do that. Ah! I got him, okay. <laughs> At least I helped my team. That's The Hydra is probably the worst thing on that ledge to deal with. Oh. Okay, good. Got him. We can do this, folks. I believe in everybody. Oh, they saw me. Ah. I went around and I didn't think they saw me, but they did. This is so close. Come on, Sprinkler. Do your thing. Oop. Coming over. Someone's going through. There we go. Oh. Ah, 
I didn't get an ink storm for the end. But it's more important to help my buddies out there. <laughs> okay. Nice. Good job, everybody. Bigger victory percent than I thought. Yeah, Jimbles, we're going to get more weapons and gear and emotes and all this stuff when the next season happens. I, I'll have to see we'll, how much we get. I kind of am a little mixed where I miss when we used to get stuff every week, but we didn't really get gear every week, and yeah, it was like we get like a weapon every week or something. So, honestly, if we get much bigger updates, I would rather see that happen. Oh, we should scrub our t-shirt. Okay, and we're getting new maps here, so we're getting kicked anyways. Thank you, Kailani. Hmm, what's the best weapon in the game? <laughs> Ashley. Oh, optimism. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to harness that weapon every day of my life. Did we get a... I can't remember if our catalog leveled up since we... Yep, we did. Okay. Do that. Still waiting. I don't know if I'm going to get any of the special titles or banners before the season's over, but... It, uh... It's okay if we don't. They'll probably redo some of the catalog rewards and stuff. I didn't really, like, notice, like, all the lanterns and... <laughs> Sprigatito, Octoline. Holy chum. All right, let's scrub this. Yeah. This is cheap. We should be scrubbing it after every first ability we get, honestly. Okay, and then... Hmm tempted to scrub this thing, but it's expensive. I need more Ink Saver main shoes. Let's go ahead and scrub it. Because I don't need that special saver. And then what else was I going to do while we were out here? I can't remember now. There was something. I used my clam. I scrubbed. There's Big Man! Big Man! There's a train! Whoa! The train's got ink on the side. Is it always like that? I've never really looked at the, the monorail there. Alright. New rotation. I think I'm going to go until we hit ruler, and then I'll be done for the night. Do we want to? I'll play a little bit more with the blah blobber, but I can't change my clothes. It doesn't even let you look at your new other clothes that you might have. Oh, we got the Slamjareen slip-ons. I should be using those instead. These Nickelodeon shoes are good, but we'll do the Slam Jareens. Okay. I think I'm happy with this. Pick a... Can we join them? They didn't ask if we could join them, probably, but let's try. Alright. Let's see. Singular... T oh, look at all these ruler plus one. I hope they're okay with me joining. They have, like, a group with people that seem like they're a little more coordinated. They're all also the same level where they're like, yeah, I feel like I walked in a, into a group of friends where everyone knows each other but me. But hopefully it's okay. They'll, they'll make a new room and kick me out if they don't like me. And that's okay. Optimism. <laughs> Alright, so we got Inkblot and what was the other one? I don't know, because we went to Inkblot. This one's pretty beautiful at night. There's a jellyfish that you can see if you zip cast on top of one of the buildings, and they're painting because they're a student, seemingly, at the Art Academy. All Hell Saints bathtubs is this FSO field. All right, we got some interesting weapons on the enemy team. One thing, yeah, that is, that makes me think with the jellyfish. I didn't mean to go down here. Um is the fact that if they all are ooh, I don't like the e-leader there. If they all have a hive mind, then that must mean that everything the jellyfish learn is shared amongst them. So the jellyfish must all be like amazingly smart. Try to get this brush out of here. There's the e-leader's range. That's good to know. Let them deal with my sprinkler. Is that brush still down here? I guess so. Weird. I wonder, why, I wonder if they were just like, he'll forget me. I see them coming over. And I realize I'm here still. Ugh. 
throw. I love putting a sprinkler on the clam there. It's very fun. Also love throwing a sprinkler on an E-leader. Look at this guy. He's going up top. He's jumping all over the place. Hopefully someone got them. <laughs> the clam art installation is just, yeah, fun to see the sprinkler on. Whoa, is that a Hydra? Oh, it's a crab. Ah, I didn't even notice. I hope one of the brushes gets the crab, because I'm like, man, Octo Brush with Crab Tank and Splat Bomb would be like my dream weapon kit. I think that would be really fun. Oh, someone else had my idea. Everyone loves to put a sprinkler on the <laughs> clam. Oops. I'm gonna get them. Did they jump out of there or they, they're still up here? Oh, they put a mine up there. Now they're tracking me, so I'm in a really bad position. Someone's gotta be down here, right? I'm leaving the tower. Not worth it with that E-leader. Okay, let's mess with the E-leader. Kinda hit around this corner. Someone's still there? I saw a bubble. I was like, somebody's in a fight, right? That wasn't good. <laughs> ah! Was that low health and the... Wavebreaker got me at the worst moment. It's the very end when we need the ink the most. Ah. Hmm. Make it to ruler. And then time to rest. Yeah, that's my goal. Oh, nice. Okay, I thought we lost that one, but maybe they had a lot of uneven. I was gonna, yeah, I think a lot of the time, whenever I have some gripes with Turf War, is that the last 30 seconds matter way too much. And if you, it kind of pushes you not to overextend or just like really go in and not give any mercy because if you give an inch at the end and they push in, they can get so much turf so fast that you can easily lose it. All right, we're almost to catalog level 70. I'm starting to see the, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Starting to see maybe we can get our catalog all the way to the end here. It might happen. A lot of people blitz through the catalog really early and then they just have like their 10th catalog and yeah, you get you get to basically restart it and get more bonus rewards after if you do the whole thing. I'm still on my first. Okay. Oh no, Sombra, I did see your message about I don't need to delete anyone on the, the friends list, it's fine. I'll try to add some more people before tomorrow night, but I just think there's not a million water players necessarily. I think it's the most popular team, but I'll have to see how many of my friends are actually on team water. Time to practice my forward squid roll thing. Oh, I think we're starting. <laughs> Okay. Charger, yeah, I just I just recorded an episode using the Charger, and I did struggle a little bit. Chargers are better at turf and ink than you would think, though. I think they get... That was, like, the cliche about them, is that they weren't good at that with the first game, but that was quickly kind of realized that that was a misnomer with them, because they can, they can ink pretty fast. It's just more, yeah, they're well, not great with... Uh, <laughs> when someone gets up close. I felt like I started that beginning really bad, so I'm almost glad that we had a disconnect. Time for a new group. Whatever, uh, whatever person I joined, somebody got lost there. Okay. That guy's just blinking at me. <laughs> what do you want? I'm holding a tub. Yeah, okay. Fresh group anyways. That was my goal. Thank you to everyone sticking out. Good night, Alex. Good night, Kirby. I know it's pretty late for a lot of people. I'm on a weird sleep schedule, so. But we could join Ashley. Let's do that. I sh Speaking of which, I should drink this coffee before it gets too late. Everybody, stay hydrated. 
Stay fresh. Stretch your arms, hands, feet, legs, eyes. <laughs> Sans Undertale in the chat giving out hot dogs. Good to see you, buddy. I need to play Deltarune still with Danny sometime. Appreciate you stopping in. First we had Zach Scott jump in a stream. Now we have Sans Undertale. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. He did say we're going to have a bad time. That's bad luck. had some thought in between here. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I did, I don't know how scientific this is, but I did see stuff from an optometrist that was saying, if you stretch your eyes, it actually is, oh, I was gonna put this there. It actually does help you. And I did do it earlier today, cause I was like, oh, I know I'm gonna be recording. I messed that up. I moved. Nope. Ugh. Ugh. I got him, okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, doing things like, um, slowly, like, rotating your eyes, looking to one side, then looking back slowly, focusing on something like 20 feet, then 10 feet, then 5 feet, then 1 feet, then trying to look at your nose. Stuff that sounds really silly, but actually, I did it earlier, and I swear that it does feel like my, uh, range of vision feels a little wider than I'm used to, because I don't usually look, like, really angled to the side. So it kind of it makes sense to me, but I don't know if it's actually something. Ugh! They did the Zipcaster through me! How dare they? That's the Octobrush, right? But yeah, I guess uh, it might be a thing. Your mileage may, may vary, but something I figured people might be interested in. Can we jump up on the clan? Get off of our clan. Did we get them, or are they... Still spamming us. What do they have down there that's... Oh, it's the crab. I was gonna say, something is shooting really far and it's annoying. <laughs> Ugh. Now they're gonna be able to tell where I am. Regardless. There we go. Get him out of there. Almost got my... Ink storm. Oh, they waited! Oh, nice! Okay. We had a big lead, or they had a big lead going, and then... Let's go ahead and throw that up there. Try to get some of this turf going. I'm gonna stalk a little. Watch out, because they're gonna try to get behind us. sure I would get him, but this feels like a weapon you would play kind of long range, but then I'm realizing if you... Ooh, nice. <laughs> ah, we wiped him out again. They were really pushing us, and then now we're getting the wipeouts. Um, but honestly, if you want to actually splat someone, it does feel like getting in close enough to... Uh, the sprinkler might have gotten somebody there. Getting in close enough to actually get all of your blobs is pretty key. Okay, I think we got that one. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Sands is going home to hang out with Newt. Nice throwback to Danny and my Undertale. <laughs> that was our name of our little little scamp. Named after the aliens kid. Thank you, Sands. I appreciate you being here. Alright. We've got to be pretty close to Ruler at this point. And then we'll take a break until the Tricolors... This has gone by really fast, honestly. And we're level 70. Okay, nice. Getting some good abilities. I should go wipe that t-shirt. Ooh, intensify action. I'll take that. Two subs. That's what I, I mentioned before. Just getting two subs of that can make a huge difference with your weapons. 
<gasps> Neozilla fought me in a match. We just oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. How's it going, buddy? It's always fun when someone's like, hey, we played, and like seeing different perspectives and stuff. This little jellyfish is still hanging out here. He loves merch. Good playing with ya. What what was your name in game? Let's see if I remember. Seeing ya. Octavius wants to go until he's ruler. We'll see. If not, well, you know, I'm playing for the tricolors. I messed up the time because of daylight savings, but it's going to happen at 7 o'clock Eastern. It was 8 o'clock Eastern until the time changed on me after last week's stream. Okay. Kailani, I'll try to... Let's just do a room because I want to make sure I get other people in here too if they're waiting. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cat Rosalina, what are you, what's up? Okay, we got Void, we got Gilmore. I don't think I've played much with Gilmore, so I think that was a good choice to try to get another group going. Okay. Checking some stuff here in between. Grunky, how you doing? Should put a different main ability on Splatfest T. It's really cheap. Yeah, I was gonna put Ninja Squid, but I don't have enough chunks of run speed up. At least last I checked, I need one more. So at this point, it's probably still worth it, honestly, but I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to swap it out. But because I mentioned before, you can only get 19 ability points on this Splatfest T or the, uh, the, your normal T, but 18 on Splatfest, so you technically have one less ability point if you don't change out the main, and it is very cheap. Thank you for the suggestion, though, Grunky. What do you want to show us, Cat Rosalina? Last game for test failed. Okay, thank you. You've been a loyal blaster hanging out with us this whole time. You're the sure-fied life of the party, for sure. Oh, nice. Void's got the Nautilus. They're gonna kick jump us. That's a little bit of a scary comp over there. They're gonna have Booyah Bombs. Oh, I keep forgetting that's an income. They're gonna have the Booyah Bombs. They're gonna have Trizuka, Zipcaster, Wave Breaker. A good variety of uh, specials and subs. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and throw this in. Oh, watch out for that fizzy bomb. They're being tracked. I'm just gonna try to get the wave breaker out of here. Good job, everybody. Taking that out. Alright, keep an eye on this guy. Do that and annoy them. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna help that much. I'm gonna try to push through the booyah. I was expecting that. There's the brush. Let's see if we can cover a wide area with this. Oh, I hear the zip caster. They're gonna come back to. Were they up here? They were somewhere around here when they just casted. Oh, get him! They're going up. Ah, I thought I would. Okay, I did get him. Everyone, I've noticed that pattern. When you try to go around that little cube, everybody is like, okay, I'm gonna go over the cube. They'll never expect it, except they all are doing it. I don't want to go down this way. Oh. Saw some cool graffiti, but. Somebody ink over here. They're really pushing in that one spot there. Hey, brush. Get out of here. I think that's test failed again with the clutch uh, point sensors. Huge help. Get that way breaker out of there. See if we get up here and do this. There we go. This is a really good spot to lob blobs from. 
nice. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of just see whole range from up here and then fall down. <laughs> Where that is, that's the dually. So they got their bomb. There's the sloshy machine. They're coming around. There we go. Dooley's trying to go too. Almost got my ink storm. Ah! Did I, I didn't throw it in time. I pushed up too much. I think we got it anyways. But I, that ink brush, I should have been, or octo brush, should have been more careful. Okay. Cat Rosalina wants to, us to join them. All right. Nobody else here eats grass. <laughs> <laughs> heard it, heard it touching grass, but I haven't heard it eating grass. Unless you're a cow. All right. That was pretty good. Yeah, we got overall splatter. I'm starting to get a hang of this thing. I know it's kind of annoying weapon for people to deal with, but I'm enjoying it. I like, you know, the angles. I used to play Duck Hunt in Smash Brothers as a main competitively, so I like getting those angles of the trick shot and everything. Okay, Rosalina. Did we get, we didn't get another level, right? I'm gonna try to join you. Rosetta, in here, in game. A beaver gave trees. Okay, thanks for the donation. <laughs> they said, look at their clothes. This better not be a trick, Rosetta. Where are you? You've got, huh? You're wearing some, you have a cool wrap on. You've got, what? <gasps> You're a hacker, aren't you? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Did you hack in the, like, enemy octa, uh, inkling? Hmm. Interesting. It's got, you've got these crazy eyes. That looks like the enemy one, right? Oh, naughty. Do you, oh, you've got the octo, okay. I saw this, I saw other people doing this. You should not do this because Nintendo, you know, take this as a warning. Nintendo could ban you for this stuff. But they have the, uh, oh, they change back. You can put the, uh, Octoline eyes on an inkling. So, they must be, uh, doing some, some modding, which normally is not that big of a thing, but in a multiplayer game, it can get you banned, so. But yeah, they put the, <laughs> it looks so weird to see the Octoline eyes on an inkling. Oh, heavens me, says Alex. <laughs> I'm going to faint. Oh my gosh, a hacker. No. I, it's not that big a deal, obviously, but I, it's more just you gotta be careful, or else the Nintendo Ninjas will get you. All right, let's go. I think we had a couple more games in us before we get max rank. That's my goal. Let's try to send some blobs out. Help our fellow. Teammates. Well, this is a really good angle here because you can get like up on there and it goes down. They're kind of hanging back enough. Where? Oh, there we go. Nice. Got another one with the uh, ink storm. Wipe out. Good job. Yeah, whenever, if we have at least like one person with point sensor, it makes a huge difference, I'm noticing. Can that go, they can go in the tree. Okay, good. Thought I saw someone up there. They're really taking it to them. Oh, someone's back in our back line. There they go. They got a crab. I'm gonna try to sneak up on them. Did they jump up here? How did they get up top of there? I didn't know you could jump up. Oh, did they use the crab to jump up? Either way, I'm just gonna go into their stuff. They can do whatever they want there. We'll go over here, get their area, we'll swap around. Let's just have fun and change turf bases. Watch my back, because I'm towards their base. It's 
a lot easier to recover our area than obviously theirs, so not too worried about having them take our own turf. Someone's gonna sneak up on me if I'm not careful here. They got two flingsas. I'm surprised I haven't actually run into any missiles yet on my end. Nice. Okay, finally got missiles on me. Oh, ran out of ink. Get him! Hmm, where do I want to jump to? I don't know if this is safe. Oh, oh. Okay. Nice. Oh. Get him around the corner. I think we got that one. Good night, Somberlene. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate everyone. Be in here. All right. Was that as normal again? <laughs> <laughs> they changed back under cover of night. Okay, how many points? I think we got like a couple more. What's the Octo alert? We got a couple more victories till we hit max rank, and that's where I'm going to end. Let's wipe that t-shirt again immediately. <laughs> Get all the chunks. I have so many chunks of like ones that like a uh, special saver that I'll probably never put as a main ability on something, but... Thank you, Steven. Before it's too late, be sure to like the video. I appreciate that. Thank you, Rosetta, for showing us the dark magic, the forbidden spells that you're doing here. Appreciate everyone hanging out with us on this beautiful Splatfest. I'm still, if anyone has a good argument for which starter to choose, I'm still so, so up in the air. I love Quaxley, but I'm also like, do I want to play through I, when I played Legends, I didn't evolve Rowlet till it was basically ready to become Hisuian and Decidueye, because I was like, I want to use Rowlet more. Now I'm kind of in a position where I almost am like, I don't know if I want to evolve Quaxley. <laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards Foycoco, but I also like Sprigatito, especially because I could name it after one of my cats. So I'm, I'm, I've got a week or so to decide, so hopefully you guys will... Uh, hang out for a uh, Pokemon stream, Scarlet and Violet, in the future. I'm thinking about getting Scarlet. Wow, Ashley's 160 seconds. Still waiting. Sometimes it really hitches like that. You get stuck. Octavius is a champion as well. We got Brian back. I think I got a good feeling about this next one. Octavius is also fighting to become a ruler. Yeah, I'm curious about what's uh, the extent of the multiplayer. Because maybe I'll try to get, uh, especially some of the moderators, like I know Allison and Ashley are probably interested in Pokemon at the very least, if not some others. Because that would be fun to do multiplayer if you can kind of play through a lot of it together or something. I, I don't, I am not that hopeful that we'll be able to just play through the whole game co-op or something, but... We'll see. Okay, I gotta finish this coffee. Trying to groove the controller, <laughs> the motion controls, <laughs> while I was waiting. Oh, Ashley got booted. Yeah, Ashley, let's play Pokemon together. Quaxley is very good. I'm just, uh, not... Oh, there's a duck. Oh, we did we really not get, uh, I guess the map's changed, not that. No, it was, yeah. It was like a half hour. We didn't get Sturgeon Shipyard at all. This is a friendly fire battle. I gotta get this layout back in my head. So this is the map, once again, just like the 
first Splatfest, this is the map that is going to be the tricolor map, and they did a bunch of balance changes with it. Oh, the roller was hiding there. Um, so they changed a lot of how the, the spawn points work, especially for the team that is defending the tricolor matches, so we'll have to see. We have to wait till uh, tomorrow. How long does that thing last? I keep aiming the wrong way. He's gonna throw it back at us, probably. They're trying to really push in on us. He's jumping to me. Where'd they go? They escaped. Risky trying to get up here. Actually, ah! <laughs> well, they just snuck around me. I thought I was safe because most of my buddies were like behind us. Okay, if we can jump into this. Mm, let's look out. As soon as I was like, oh, we're, I feel good about this team, we go up against a team that seems to be pretty uh, good themselves. They at least have a very stealthy splat roller that's just trying to go around and be a nuisance. My things are running out before I can actually take anyone out. Oh, almost got him. I don't want to get too close, but I did not mean to do that. Ugh. Man, I didn't even get the one. This team's really pushing in on us. Luckily, this doesn't count for the main points. <laughs> got some spots here that aren't filled in. Oh, is there someone there? Okay. I really want to push into the center. Ugh. Can't get these guys. I should just not bother with chasing them. They're just running away. They're not worried at all about fighting a lot of the time. They're just like, I'm just gonna turf. There we go, I got somebody. Okay. Throw that in the center. Don't let that flat roller get us. Hopefully that was enough coverage to push back in at the end there. Yeah, Tricolor opens up at 7 p.m. tomorrow Eastern. Ah, 5%. When the reset. If I had just gotten... Uh, yeah, I, I needed to push in the middle, but if I had gone after that Ultra Stamp, maybe I could have got that turf they had. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that Team Water is still in the lead, so I at least have a better chance of getting Tricolor. They've adjusted it in the interim since last Splatfest, but I have... Yeah... It can be a little frustrating when you yeah, never get any. Ashley, I know she got some in the last one, but I think she was on the lead team, if I remember right. She was saying she, she managed to get in some, but most people were not able to. So that was a little rough. Okay, a couple more and we're done here, folks. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, that last Splatfest. It took a little longer. We didn't get one for October. I'm hoping Big Run is on the way soon, but... That'll probably be after the new season. I don't know if they're gonna do like a big run in December. <laughs> Christmas big run. And Christmas isn't as big of a holiday in Japan. It's just more a time to eat KFC and uh, have fun in the chilly weather. Oh, I did not play, I have not played Ink Rush at all tonight, which is fine. I feel like I play it way too often, but maybe I should finish with Ink Rush. We got like one more, two more matches in us. Yeah, after this one, I think I'm gonna change weapons. I do like the blah blah a lot though. Especially this set for getting turf is really good. I need to actually hit my sprinklers on top of stuff though. Oh yeah, Ashley was on the lead team. No wonder she got so many tricolor. I, I was on gear, which wasn't the lead in, in halftime. I think it was fun, was the lead. Plop. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, a new King Salmonid would be interesting. 
I feel like we're gonna get a bunch of different kaiju sort of ones, but we'll have to see what happens. Could just be something off the wall, like a giant balloon. That's the rumor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to set those up. I keep forgetting to squid roll more. Get this nice and ink so I can get my special immediately. Oh, this one's counting. To remember. So what happens when you ink those walls and they're up? I know there's an actual like formula to whether the walls are up or down, honestly, but if the walls, yeah, if they're like, yeah, because now this is going down, it would be just funny if you don't get turf for it or something. I'm going to be sneaking around this side, I'm thinking. Oh, nice. Whoever's on my team is uh, doing a good job of covering for me. I had somebody trailing me. Trying to get some of these little spots. Oh. Nice. Oh. So close to getting my ink storm. There we go. Throw that up there. Get up here. I thought we were against Team Grass, but I think it's just I saw the green. Oh, that was a guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> he died. That was one of them. Oh, look at all the turf we left on the uh, on our side. We can see the sturgeons. That's how many holes we got in the tur turf here. That's okay because we got time to get it, and I can hopefully get my special on the way. Uh oh, not a bad spot. Give me that sub weapon. <laughs> Whoever has the Nautilus was yeah, Void. Void is very good at the game. I'm just learning. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad. Get out of here, you wave breaker. Um. I feel like I win a lot when Void is on our team. <laughs> In Salmon Run or elsewhere. I can't remember what I was gonna say now. There we go. Take that tactic cooler out for ya. There we go. Nice. Um, hopefully, yeah, because they have a really evenly inked uh, spot. There beginning near their spawn point. We'll make sure we don't lose because of ours not being inked. Ooh, I almost didn't see them. Oh, that was an enemy. They're going around. We're going to try to counter them. With the sprinkler. <laughs> nice. Okay. Ugh, they got me at the last second. I almost threw a sprinkler in, but it, that honestly doesn't help that much if you don't have time to get it to actually spin around compared to a bomb. How do we do? It's hitching. Okay. Took a while to calculate that one against Team Fire. Nice. Good job, everybody. Maybe I'll stick with this team because this is we're doing good. This is a good combo. We got Void the Slayer, Brian the Missile Maker. And Octavius, the future ruler. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one with this group. But yeah, Sturgeon Shipyard, even though we're playing it now, when we get the tricolor version, it's going to be completely different. Ooh, nice. I'll take that. How close are we? Mm, yeah, maybe one or two more good ones, and I think we got it. Uh oh. Someone's not here. Uh-oh. Yeah. I probably should have exited and just tried to get a new group going, because when you... Like Brian was saying, if you, if you stay in a group like this, then I'm gonna potentially just be with Void here. Which is fine. This doesn't do the fling, right? Oh, it does! I don't know if this is that helpful. It kind of, like, makes your blobs go out in a weird arc, but you can do this weird little fling. It's not as useful. I think it, for the normal slosher it's the most useful because you can like fling around corners and hit people in a weird arc and 
Do some roller stuff where you readjust on the fly with your aim. Mm. Yeah, the sprinkler also slows way down at the end. Oh, you mean the end of the match, I was gonna say. Also the end of how long it, the sprinkler's been being used, it slows down. I'm very surprised the blob lobber is not a heavy weapon like the explosher. But pleasantly surprised. No wonder it's so popular. It's not messing with my swim speed at all. I think it's probably a medium weight weapon. Okay. Espeon, hey! Didn't see ya. They're probably on a different team, I'm guessing, since we haven't seen them. Yeah, there's certain people that I always get matched up with, or you guys join a lot, so. I'm assuming they're Team Grass or something. Jimbles, oh no. Yeah, this is taking a bit. I might have to just jump out of here. I wish I could still quit out of it, but it's not gonna let me. Oh, never mind. Okay, Void. It's us and randoms against the world. Or at least against Team Water. Okay. <laughs> water on water. Oh, look at this nice blue. This is like a light blue. And they've got the orange. Oh, they got the thing on their name tag that says they're real special and powerful. I think you have to win a bunch of matches in a row to get that on your name tag. Almost got my ink storm. There we go. Throw that over. My sprinkler's probably slowed down by this point, so it's good to throw another one in. Avoid this. Oop, I jumped into the same spot there. Jumping in place is uh There's an enemy blob blobber. Got protected by whoever that was. Waiting around the corner here. Nice. <laughs> okay, just about got this. Ooh. Someone else is sprinkler in the way. I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> it's like going down a slide or something. Watch our six. Ooh. Yeah, this is crazy team. Could just be luck, but I feel like I keep getting people that are really good. Wait's got my back. Not the spot I wanted. We're going here. Blob lobber out. Oh! Did the sprinkler actually get him? Or no? Man, they're zooming! Look at them go! They got their own blobs. They were too focused on void. Uh oh. They're losing center. Ah! <laughs> Got stuck where I was hyper focused on one player and they couldn't get either. This isn't the best 2v1 uh, weapon for sure. Uh oh. They're pushing in! Starting to coordinate their specials too, which makes it even harder. I'm going up top and blah blah bin. Almost got this. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't know if we got that. I liked having that toothpaste color ink, but it seemed like orange might have. Oh, someone was in their spawn at the end. Nice, and they weren't in ours at all, so that ended up helping a lot. Good job, whoever was in there. Your mom. <laughs> British, it seems like. Your mum. That's, uh, merch. No. Let's see. Team Water's doing pretty well. 
especially against Team Water. <laughs> okay, we're so close. One more win, and I think we're gonna get another catalog, but also get to max rank. I'm gonna switch to Inkbrush for the end here, because I think the maps are a little different. I think I might have a better time with uh, an Inkbrush. Do I have my freshest? I can't do my fresh fits so easily, because yeah, it's gonna, where's my other one? I have one for Inkbrush. Hmm, I don't know if I need this one, I'll do it. Might change my hat. Let's do... Well, look at all these hats. Got so many hats. This'll be good, right? I'll try some last stitch effort. It'll be good. Okay. Let's do it. This could be the last one. Thank you guys, everyone who stuck around. If you're watching this later, I still appreciate it. Getting this this far in. And uh, this should be it if we manage to flick our way to success. Ash is in here. Yeah. Julie is in here. And Gilmore is back. I haven't been paying attention to how Gilmore has been doing, but I'm happy they're here. Gotta warm up my flicking skills. I kind of didn't want to play a brush really early on because I was like, this is gonna be a little tough to uh, maintain through a stream because I gotta tap so much, but... I feel like if you're gonna play Splatoon long term, a weapon like the, a brush that flicks is fun and you can go crazy with it, but I would recommend playing something that you can hold down a button and save your fingers. <laughs> the hassle of having to do so much tapping. I just especially love the ink brush because you can go so far into enemy turf and you don't have to worry about going into their ink and you can, uh, you don't need ink resistance, basically. Unlike the Octo Brush, which still takes damage from going through enemy ink, weirdly. We should try to draw... That would be really hard without the map, right? I was gonna say, we should try to draw Quaxly. <laughs> okay. I like the, yeah, the hair wiggles when you change hats, and the brushes wiggle, too. There's so much, like, wiggly, bloopy physics in this game. Beefo. A rival brush. We're at the art, art Academy. How more fitting could it be to be playing against Beepo here? Thank you guys again. I'll just get to that area. Oop, I'm playing a brush, so of course I'm gonna accidentally tap. Ooh, nice. No more got that. Let's try to do some of this. Try to really get this all inked up so that. Oh, I got out of the way. Okay, good. Thank you. So now, let's see where I'm at so easily because of Tactic Cooler. So that's something to remember if you're gonna. Sometimes people just don't pick up the Tactic Cooler because they're like, I don't want to be looked at. That's valid. Oh, kind of did that a little low. Oh, they're bubbled. Get this out of here. Better to hit the top of the bubble, I think, to take it out, but... Getting that inner part is still good. They didn't lose somebody, did they? Looks like they're having a rough time with it. Oh, I missed the spot where they were. Come, trying to be cautious. <laughs> they keep using their bubbler right when they die. Which I mean, a panic bubbler, that makes sense. Are they? They're in our base! No wonder we're struggling to find them. Of course, that didn't get them there. Are they still around over here? Over there. Thought they were gonna jump in. I see you over here. You can't hide from us. This thing ninja squid it away. 
try to get deeper into their base. Didn't have a bomb in time for that. <laughs> now they're all moving over here. Try to get the middle as best we can. Ugh! Oh no! That roller got me in the end. Hmm. This might not be a win because they really just spent a lot of time in our spawn. And I was so focused on being like, hey, where are they? They're, <laughs> they're, they're just not here. Ah, that was close. If I didn't get splatted, I think we would have had that. Frustrating. That roller just kind of sharked and waited for me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, but that's my worry. Swag Blue is like they like how Ink Brush has the the splat bomb because it does feel like I'm co-maining the brush and the bomb. But the uh, I'm worried because if we ever get another Ink Brush kit, it's not gonna have splat bomb, which is a little sad. Uh, I like it so much. Killer Whale's fine, special, but uh, we gotta need to do another one or else we're not gonna get this. Will be this will probably be the last one. But yeah, I, 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 we could get an Octo Brush with Splat Bomb, but no, Inkto uh, Ink Brush, <laughs> Ink Brush with Burst Bomb would be pretty crazy too. I don't know if it needs it that much, but that would be insane. I don't know if they'd ever give that to Ink Brush. All right, we got Void again. That's a good sign. And Brian's back. Let's draw Quaxley. That's the hat. I was gonna make it the face, but it didn't look right. <laughs> and then it's got its head, and then it's got its body, and it's got a beak, and little eyes. <laughs> well, and it's sassy, and it's got feet. It looks just like it. Look at that. It looks like it's holding a cup or something on the side. It's not that I should have drawn it over here where you could see it at a better angle. Let's get my ink back. Alright, this will be Quaxley. Here's the body. Here's the head. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> That's the beak. It's a the squid thing. A little inflatable squid. There we go. Ran out of time. It was going to be perfect. Oh well. Okay, I think this will be the last one. We're going back to art school. I gotta learn a thing or two about drawing a Pokemon. Julia's here. Void's here. We're going against some seasoned Splooshomatic over there, but we got Brian as well. Oh, this is a water battle. Try my best to ink, ink, ink. I already moved into the center really well. It's up top. Try to use that to get in. Okay, nice job. I don't rush in well enough with the killer whale like I should be doing. Ah, yeah, they saw where I was. I didn't have Ninja Squid. Flings are, re are really frustrating because of the Tena Missiles, but then they can easily shark just like any other roller. And you do a pretty good job of that. Which is what I should be doing more as a fresh, waiting until I'm in an opportune position and then popping out to attack. But I get impatient. And ink at the feet of our buddy Void. There we go. And you're alive. Going that way. Nice. Oh. Try 
trying to help out. Because I know Void's going to have a little bit of trouble inking his feet sometimes. Mm. Stuck between multiple bombs there. That's the sploosh. Much stuff. <laughs> oh no! I tried to do it so quick that we didn't even see the menu, but I didn't have quick super jump or anything, so well, they saw me. At least they wasted time trying to kill me. Oh, got this little bit up here, right? Come on! I can do it! Oh, I shouldn't have jumped in. Ah, I thought I had him. Man, I didn't flick enough. And then they got me. And we lost people right at the end. <laughs> well, I slid in. Late to class. Just like in real life. <laughs> Look at that curling bomb. I think the flingzo is the most rough part of that. Because the missiles on top of them being able to just get me with one flick while I'm trying to go crazy on them. Yeah. That last bit there got us. At least it was against Team Water. Doesn't matter. <laughs> just, just experience. Okay. How close are we? Oh, I did get a conch shell. I should pick that up. Oh, we already got it. Hmm. I don't want to go out on a loss, but we should probably finish up because we're gonna do more in a handful of hours anyways. Let's try one more. Oh, nice, I got an experience ticket. For everybody. I got three more on mine before I can use that. Let's try one more. I want to get a good one with the ink brush. I was lobbing the blobs so much that I uh, almost forgot how to play my old main. We're getting pretty high up in the clout score. Okay, now we're getting our flings up. That's what we needed. We might have already had Brian in there before, I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Oh, did I mess up? Here's the crew. What does that mean? At the top, is it like, okay, you're good to go? Alright, Quaxley. Thank you, Ashley. Well done, Weekend Water Warriors. Let's reconvene tomorrow and win. That's the plan, hopefully. Okay, Julia's in here. Got too distracted drawing a duck. These are the feet. And then there's one here. I messed up by doing it. Oh, this can be the foot. He's sick, okay? My son. <laughs> there he is. Quaxley. He doesn't have a face. I. I. And then... There he is! Look at him! He looks like a worm. <laughs> Once again, he's holding like some sort of broken cup or something in his hand. And he looks like he's peeing. <laughs> oh, he's a duck, so. Alright. <laughs> Picasso. Chad is fighting. What are you guys fighting about? Which Pokemon type is the best? Settle in the game. <laughs> Pick up Procreate. No. Danny is the artist. She drew my Heron logo and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, I got a good feeling about this. I got my last ditch effort floppy hat. I'm gonna try. Okay, they're gonna have missiles from the Reflux. Booyah! I remembered the Booyah! I think if Booyah was on a different button, I would remember to do it a little better. It's on a weird button as it is right now. Alright, go ahead and let these missiles hit the top of this. Whoop. Throw these down. Nice. Try to 
zip through here. I need to play a lot more annoying if I'm gonna be effective with my brush. Kinda zip around, hide when I need. Nice. They were just like obliterated there. <laughs> Get him, I make it. <laughs> He's alive! Go, go, go! Yeah, I don't capitalize on my killer whale well enough. I'm just kind of throwing it out there to support other people. And I need to try to follow up on it a little better. Ugh. They got me somehow, even though I was hitting them way before. That's the 52 gal. 52 damage per hit. Nice. Alright. Let's go, go, go! They inked our area up. That's the other benefit of the... I think, it, yeah, that's the, the thing I was noticing. I'm like, any, any special that can just universally hit. A bunch of areas that, uh are really annoying to deal with, like you can hit everyone on a map. That's the part that is uh, most annoying to deal with. Ah, he got me. Um, so yeah, ink armor and the Tenta missiles are what I mean, where it's like you can activate it and get your whole team or splat, you know, see everyone no matter where they are. It feels like a special needs to be something where you have to not actually be able to throw it out there and get a crazy benefit from it. Oh. Ah! <laughs> it's so bad to die in the last little bit and I keep doing it. Try to jump to whoever this is. Void. This is okay. Get him! Okay, good. I think I, I took out whatever missile they had. Oh, I hit their splash wall with that. <laughs> the killer whale doesn't really paint much either, which I think I... I don't need that with the brush, but it would be nice to have a painting one on it. No! I thought we had that. I gotta get a victory. I'm determined to finish on a victory. That was so close. An army of... What's going on with ele elephants versus mice or rats? <laughs> okay, what are we, we're getting up to like, we're about three hours, but it's Splatfest, it's a special occasion. I'm gonna go one more here and hopefully we can do it. This is all just gravy. I'm getting my catalog leveled up. Did we use this? I can't remember. We did, okay. And I'm setting myself up so that when we play again, I'll have my food for everybody. We're at ruler though, so like I mentioned before, if I get, you know, ruler plus one, plus, plus two, whatever, that doesn't really matter towards how many. See, Brian's ruler plus one, but we'll get the same amount of super sea snails because it doesn't matter past ruler. You're still helping out your team win if you get wins when you're, you're playing, but this is the rank. Usually, yeah, it takes maybe like a couple hours to get here, and then you get max super sea snails, which is nice. You don't have to commit that much time to it. Conk shells and the like sneak peek feature is probably one of the best additions. Better than the tri-color splat, but, or uh, turf wars, I feel like, because then you can help out your team the week before, and you get all these rewards for doing it, so it just seems like uh, one of the better things they added. We'll see. The, it, the verdict is still out on Tricolor Turf Wars. If they're going to end up proving to be worthwhile, better than Shifty Stations. I want to just kind of get my trigger finger in it. Yeah, there's like a position that is not comfortable or like I'm, my hand isn't used to having my finger kind of like in a claw. Oh, we can't, we're missing somebody, but that's okay. We'll get a rando, I think. I want to be able to just 
Yeah. That's a better way to do it. <laughs> but it's so awkward. Okay. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Liam's back. Did Liam sleep and come back in the time that we were getting to max rank? I was just saying it doesn't take that long to do it. Yeah, so I try to fan out my killer whale, but maybe I should just be focusing on a spot and then using that as cover because no one's going to want to be in the spot that it's firing and I can rush in and get stuff. I'm a little worried that we're not going to connect here because it seems like it's having a little trouble. All right. I'm going to take a breather, refocus, drink some water before this final match. Trying to bounce to the music as a when I'm drinking, but it just looks weird. <laughs> just, <laughs> okay, battle time. Let's do this. I'm ready. Stretching. Purely Josh is here with us. If you thought this wasn't Josh, you're in for a reckoning. Okay, we have two. Oh, nice. We've got two sources of Tenta missiles on our side, so. This should be good. Someone else is going this way. I'm going to let them do that. I always have, like, slightly too little ink to do my sub-weapon. I want to get my special, and then I'm going to push in. They're tracking me. Try to cover. <laughs> I have to listen for the sound, because I I'm like looking at my ink tank and I'm like, that's probably enough for my sub weapon, right? Oh, somebody did a super chat, but I can't see it quite yet. Okay, they got the limb. Let's cover the Vitruvian jellyfish. Can we get that spawn? Nice, I managed to get that super jump. Oh. oh, it can still get me even when I'm up, obviously. I was trying to get up high so that I could get out of the way of that. Get that sploosh out of here. That's, I was playing sploosh recently, and it's like, yeah, you really can't always follow your curling bomb or people are gonna <laughs> know you're doing that, obviously. Good tip. If someone has a curling bomb, they're gonna use it to try to get in on you, but that is obviously not the most unpredictable thing to do. Two of them over here? Why did they just stand there? <laughs> Can't tell what was going on with that. Weird. Maybe they're trying to help us get a win or something. Oh. Nice. Getting a lot of bomb snipes on this one. out if we just stay strong on here. Oh, ah, I thought I had him. I let off too early. Alright, good job team. 
I don't know what was going on with that one guy. <laughs> He's checking out his shoes, making sure he looked fresh. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to leave a like. Oh, I missed that super chat. Let me go back. Jasmine, thank you so much. Been watching for years. Thank you. Thank you for watching and for the super chat. Appreciate you. I appreciate everybody. Look at my cool little twirl. I love that. I feel like that's why I keep the default win animation, because I like to see the brush spinning around. Okay, if you want to subscribe, there's more on the way. We were overall splatter. I feel good about that one. We're getting our catalog leveled up. We're going to play more tomorrow slash today. So 7 p.m. Eastern. That is when the tricolors start, and I'm hoping to actually play those this time. We'll see how much better they are balanced this time with the map changes and everything. All right. Thank you guys again, and I'll see ya Ooh, next time. Can I do this with one hand? See you next time. Goodbye.